Tell me, O oh muse, of the many heroes from many places who wandered the many ways of the sacked sacred city of Ardenvaux. All right, let's get started. Let's get going. Yeah, yeah. let's let's get ready to rumble. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the thirty seventh expedition. Yeah, wow, thirty seventh expedition of the Art and Vulgaris campaign. It is the 29th of Teternios. It is Demas Day. Hello, everybody. Let's go down the Discord. Say who you are, what character you're playing today, and announce if they have any sworn oaths. Just to clarify, it's like your 37th session this week, right? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I am uh, Adam. I'm going to be playing the human wizard Hiscus, uh, and he is hoping to learn Fireball here in a minute. Uh, I am Caius Calvis, or I'm Varen, but I'm playing Caius Calvis, uh, the human Archontian bard, mercenary captain, uh, who is now level three uh, and has an oath to reclaim Nightwing, which was spotted earlier today, uh, held by a member of the Lizard Elite Guard, um, and I am bringing my three dwarven cohorts with me, and we are getting that fucking spear. Uh, I'm Lewis. Uh, I am reprising the role of Olympiodorus, the, the muscle wizard. He is level two and has a currently outstanding oath to retrieve Golden Throne, which I think he is unlikely to achieve this session. But he'll, you know, you never know. We'll see how it goes. We're maybe super successful. Uh, and I'm Rory, back with Asu, the dwarven um, mercenary fighter. And he has just taken a quick breather, informed the others that we saw Nightwind, and is back on the front lines on the heels of the Goblin army. Uh, and I'm Ed. Uh, I'm playing a Kondak Grass Spirit, uh, the Halfling Thief. He's level one. Uh, he has an oath to recover the spear Nightwind, uh, which he made with Caius many sessions ago. Let's do it, brother. Very on it. Uh, yeah, very nice. Now, I know we have our three mercenaries, uh, sorry, um, not mercenaries, our uh, cohorts. Are there any mercenaries or any uh, townsfolk or adventurers coming along with us today? Any, any hirelings? Um, Kondak will hire uh, Ham, the halfling priest. You will. Very nice. I liked his, I liked his, uh, his moxie yesterday when yeah. we were setting up the base, so... The cut of his jib. Yeah. He healed that baboon good. Right. Um. Okay, great. I believe we're starting, um. I guess, on the heels of... Sorry, go ahead, Adam. Oh, sorry. I was just... Before you started talking, I was going to say, maybe I could make an oath to see lizard folk burn and flee before me. Stuff. Seeing as I don't even know Fireball yet. But well, we do have a priest now. Yeah. Yeah. We brought yeah, him. Start him. Yep, we brought him. I mean, yeah. Are we your previous oath? What was your previous oath? I uh Hiscus has never had a oath. Ah, uh, so your so this one is to to see some lizard men burning. Burn and flee before me. I Burn will and flee. Me. Yeah, okay. For for I an oath? Will... Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah, cool how, how are we going to define success? Do you have to be the one causing the burning? Yeah, I will. Well, no, I just oh. want to see them burn and flee. Yeah, he said That's he just wants to see them burn and yeah, flee. Yeah, he, he needs first, to first, be though, involved yeah. in the process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somehow. Well, yeah. I'm be pretty sure I will be, if I, especially if I get Fireball here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, like a, it's, it's like a binary. Like, how does this rule go? Yeah, it, I, I think the... I think it's good, because, like, even if they decide to fight to the death, the only way is, like, we have to force morale somehow yeah. so mm. cool it's not a guaranteed all right yeah. so this is a good oath yep yep yeah I'm i agree happy with it yep. six what is that one right. put it in the scan of fate yeah. and asu after his last battle and seeing that the the wizard men fled would like to also take an oath to eliminate the rest of the elite guard uh that were in this battle Hmm. Yeah, that's a. Uh, what do you say, Course? 
Sounds cool. I mean, is it just yeah. just the elite guard that you thought what was your... on? Not the, not all the elite guard ever. Well, yeah, was... so this, yeah. this would be his second oath. His yeah. first one was to acquire a base for the Mercs. Um, yeah. And having fought four of those elite guards already, he knows a bit how tough they are. Yeah, they're no slouches yeah. for sure. Um, so funny thing is, is that Drom on his last carousing roll, uh, actually rolled to make a boast, uh, on the carouse table. Um, oh, sick. So I'd, I'd like to have Drom, the, the companion of Caius, uh, also throw in with, uh, with Osu. With Osu, who Yeah, because he, he was there with, with me. Because he... Uh, he was just there earlier today. Yeah, uh, he was, he's like, he was yeah, let's homie. finish these fuckers. Yeah, in. Cool. All right. So I just got plus one to magic casting, which is about all I could ask for, because it's another plus yeah. 5% to me learning this fireball. Have you got a luck right. token? Yes, I do have luck already. I have it from right. previous session. Are we gonna, okay. are oh, we gonna start the session? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yep, yeah. Okay. we're good to go. All right, let's start the session with you learning fireball. All yeah. right. Uh, so first roll, see if we do it. Success. Net or er, nice. net nineteen. Nice. There you go. On to attack rolls. Um. So shall Ollie? Yeah. Try and learn. Well, I suppose he wants. Does anyone? Yeah. Is anyone willing and able to give Ollie luck? Uh, yes. Here we go. Caius, Caius gives you a gives you a, a, a rousing hand on the shoulder and just says, "Don't fuck it up." How big is fireball cool. in this edition or in this system? Um, uh, can someone? I don't know where the text for fireball is. Uh, is it the is it the Shadow Dark Fireball? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, I'll pull up the spell. Yeah, I could, I, could I outsource that for to somebody? Thank you. Yep. Uh, fireball is tier three, far, near size cube, four d six. Fucking nasty. Mm-hmm. Wait, got it. Um, yeah. What tier is protection from energy? Oh, that's a good question. I think it's three. Protection from energy is tier three. Close. Okay. One creature you touch. Uh, choose fire, cold, or electricity. For the duration, the target is immune to harm. Oh, it's not even advantage. It's immunity. Whoa, oh, that's good. That's, that's, that's nice. That's wow. big. I mean, <laughs> like, yeah, like, that, that's... that's yeah. Ollie right. can make so, himself immune to his own fire elemental. Yeah, that's, uh, that's insane. I'm making... I'm making uh, so a uh, DC thirteen. Ooh. Luck. D twenty plus six. Come on, Ollie, you can do it. Come on. Oh, oh. oh brutal. So close. Oh, Fucking man. horrible. Fucking oh, wizards. God. Dude, that sucks. That, that is awful. Walk, all. Walk it off, buddy. Walk it off. We got orange slices in the Goblin Army camp. <laughs> Uh, oh, that sucks. Okay. distracted by the level one wizard in the background practicing yeah, yeah. fireball. Fireball, uh, fireball, fireball. And then you're like, yeah, you see him practicing. You're like, oh shit, protection from energy. Come on. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so not only do I have, yeah, I don't have luck anymore either. So sucks to be me. Cool. That's done. Um. Yeah, okay. So. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna have to adjudicate you all like marching beyond behind a massive army. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, I mean, have they just stayed there, or are they like caught no. up somehow? No, they haven't. They, they have not caught up. Yeah, okay. but they they are pursuing for sure. Um, you didn't rouse up fifty goblins, uh, and they're not gonna kill something. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's not gonna happen. They they're gonna they're gonna definitely get something. Okay, uh, so. Where they're at right now, I mean, I guess we could start. Is you, we could say that you lost track of them. They went down this corridor, and, and you can, the and you hear, the, I mean, and you hear the sounds of of intense fighting, and we can just start from there. Is that okay? Yep. Yeah. So okay. again, yeah, they went down this corridor following the lads. 
Uh, oh, Hiscus is a wizard. Kondak is a thief? Yeah, he's a thief. Okay, I guess Caius and Asu will be up front. A lot of these passageways are only five, five wide, and then the other are two by two, so... Um, I mean, do you want Kondak up front looking for tripwires and stuff, or do we think... I mean, you think, the army, out, you right? think the army put traps behind them? Yeah, yeah, it's true. I think we're good. Well, Kondak will be near the front anyway, just in case you need yeah. them. Okay. Um, is anything lit, or would we actually have to light something? You'll have to light something. I figured they just fight in the dark, because they all have dark vision, right? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, these goblins do. Okay. Uh, marching order and light audit. Uh, Hiscus will light a torch. Um, as will uh, Gond. Gond will light a light a torch as well. Mm -hmm. And we'll be at the back. I suppose. Just a moment. Yeah. Like that, I guess. Okay. Good point. Okay, so this is our order. We'll move up, I guess, to here. And we hear the sounds coming from. Oh, is, is Eric back? Yeah, I'm back. The yeah. purple arrow. Yeah. So we hear the sounds coming from the southwest this way. Okay. Um, yeah. So what you're seeing here at this T intersection, uh, I describe it to you, is that there is a very, very, very narrow chokehold uh, up here at this purple, not this arrow, but up here at this purple. And it's sloping down um, about 20 feet. And you can clearly see there's some water uh, below. And it's kind of like fast moving water. So like a tiny stream. No, you're well. You're seeing a pocket of like, sorry, Jack. It's, it's at the after. It's like a pocket oh, okay. part, and that's it's all full of water. No. Oh, that's probably their drinking water. Oh, yeah. uh, could, it's could we Swiss snag some of this healing moss while we're while we're running through? Yeah, for sure. Or was it all picked out? Uh, let's see how much could be left over for you. Uh, there's two, two bounties. Two. Okay. So, uh, if anybody has an empty vial, um, the lair right here has healing moss. Just mix it with some spit and water or something, and it it's a healing potion. Mm -hmm. Does anybody have vials? I don't have anything. I've, I don't. I've got a potion of I've got a potion of healing already, but. I've yeah, actually got, I have action. empty oil flasks. Yeah, fill those too. All right. Um, over here, you see there's uh, remnants of another layer cleared out. And Anything stand out? Negative. Like miscellaneous living stuff. Exactly. Magical spares. Who <laughs> knew? Uh, following the goblin army. Yes. Right. Uh, this turns into a five foot, uh, natural cave walkway extending this, this, that same vector, uh, 10, 20, 30, 40 feet, uh, before reaching a T junction that goes perpendicular to you. So you're, you're the weird spur off of a straight line. Oh, so this goes 40 feet before becoming this, that thing. Yeah. Right. So like this. Yeah. Now, uh, to be clear, this is not connecting with the forest and the castle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, okay. that's downward. Yeah. And you said this is a T in, in how far? Uh, it's a T intersect, uh, section. The north side extends at least... At least uh, as far as your lantern light can go. And it looks like it's gently sloping downwards. So 60 feet. Mm -hmm. It looks like it continues past that. And to the south, 
there is 20 feet, and then there is a uh, pocket chasm, like a room in the cave. Uh, this room does look like, I mean, it used to have stuff in it. Uh, in addition to some of the moss in here, that same healing moss, uh, you can see that um, some there are some stools, table, soured wine. Mm -hmm. But now you are running into uh, you're going to be running into the army to this um, a little bit past this little uh, room because at the end of this room uh, extending east about 20 feet is the uh, bulk of the goblin army and you can see that they are currently fighting the bulk of the lizard folk army uh what looks to be some sort of archon like old archontian um like if anything like a military outpost or uh should we yeah. draw this elsewhere because like trying to do yeah. multiple layers is pretty pretty confusing yeah and maybe maybe bring everything up to a different yeah uh like here and then yeah you said 20 feet to the east? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then that opens up into a bigger room, you said? Yeah, it's, oh, oh, it's, yeah, it's, it's a natural cavern that will extend. It's about a, almost like a conical kind of shape with a lake in the middle, and then it extends out into a large, uh, what looks to be either like a, a hall slash, uh, like, Arcantian compound. Um, how, how big of a cone? Yeah, I'm about to just uh, describe it for you. It's a... Actually, I might just do a rough sketch just to save you a little bit of time. Yeah. It is... Goes down like that. Up like that. Oh, massive. We're going to have to move it again. Yeah, there's no way I was able to, I would be able to describe this to you. Yeah. And there's no way we'd be able to see what we're doing with three levels overlaid on top of each other. <laughs> Just create, just have like a little little system where you've got like a blue dot in one place, and, uh, uh, where yeah. one place cuts off, and a blue dot where it starts somewhere else. Exactly. All right. Oh God, it's like so tactical situation: is there like a spot where I can see lizard folk like separated from like the main brawl that's happening? Like, is there any way I could fireball some of these lizards without a? Uh... Hitting the goblins. Uh, negative. All right. Um, yeah, I don't think that's gonna be. It's it's uh it's it's a darkly fight right now. Um, can we can we see? Oh, you can't like fireball the back rank. I, uh, I would say that the the, yeah. the goblin army out uh outnumbers the lizard folks. Um, so they're they're definitely like def you know. The Goblin Army is doing that sort of concave around the lizard yeah. folk. You know, they're starting to kind of encircle. They've um, they've seed them. Hit hit die one hit die monsters versus multiple hit die monsters. But uh, I would point it. Yeah, I would point out that there are uh, a few things. So for starters, um, the those those elite lizard folk, um, including the one with Nightwind, are definitely present. Uh, there are. Eight, uh, but they're basically forming the vanguard. Yeah. Uh, well, most folks, the one with the L is going to be the well, sorry, the one with the L, the the one with the the uh the star is Nightwind. It's about to take an L, that's for sure. Do we see Killick? Killick's in the army, the Goblin army. Yeah, he's leading. Uh, but it. but no, uh, 
I mean, I guess, I don't know. I, te technically, you shouldn't see who has Nightwind, and I'll randomize it because it's too many too many guys. But you can see that these guys are the ones that are more or less holding the, the army back. Or sorry, yeah, holding the goblin army back. Um, but, uh... Okay, I should have read the head. stuff. Okay, hang on. Something else as well. Uh, okay, let's see how terrible this is for you. Or how terrible it is for the goblins, I should say. I could also throw uh, pro evil on Osu for when it becomes relevant. Because you're the one that's going to be getting right in the midst of this, right? If anyone is. Well, I mean, Kondak, Kondak can go in invisible. He's, he's hoping that someone can knock this spear out of this guy's, use a mighty D to disarm this guy, and he can he can dart in and snatch up the well, spear. Well, Osu needs to go fight some elites and stuff, and if I can give them all disadvantage on their attacks, then... They're I mean, not evil. Uh, huge I'm also pretty, pretty, oh. pretty good with javelins. Protection from evil does Hold not up. work on lizard men. Oh, yeah. He just, oh, Eric Eric just wrote, does work on Eric just wrote though. demon. Eric just wrote demon on this this map. In camps. Yes. Uh fucking holding, sick. Holding the left flank <laughs> pretty much single handedly. Uh if this was like a two thousand point army, this guy's five hundred points. <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh you know what I mean? In the uh, he is he is single handedly holding this uh, the left flank here. This thing is a nine foot tall, um, just a fiercely abominable um, combination of bloated sam uh, salamander walking upright with uh, you know powerful uh, human legs, uh, like mighty thews style. You know, like. You, when you say salamander, you mean like fire lizard type salamander? Oh yeah, right. Uh, like no. like mythical salamander. Uh, you know what? I'm oh, gonna go. I'm gonna go yeah. nuts. I'm gonna say like a radioactive uh, axolotl. <laughs> it's actually what I'm gonna go with. Uh, is that what they're That's called? Got it. Okay. Is yeah. it not? A, is it axolotl? Axolotl. Axolotl. Yeah. Yeah, the ones with like the frills. Yeah, I was. I wasn't sure if it was that or if they, that's they the name really of the, and cute. their spear. Yeah, I'm sure spear this guy looks. Yeah, axolotls are quite cute. I All mean, right, well, I'm, this I'm thing sure is not this cute. This guy at all. looks like a fucked up evil version. Man. Yeah. So the important question: What's the throne made of? Yeah. <laughs> ah, good question. You do ask man, the hard hitting questions. Fucking heart. Uh, let's see here. The throne. Um, it is the throne is stone, but has been decorated with uh and embedded with gemstones. Shells and other oddities. Mm. Right. Are... So not, not quite yeah. as impressive as some other chairs we found, but no. Uh, in addition, there is a creepy statue. Oh boy, my favorite. Um, oh, we and love creepy statues in this house. We we got creepy statues. Okay. Oh, it's not a. Um, it's... The total force here, right? So the goblin army is about fifty strong. Um, I'm not. I'm not counting losses right now, right? Yeah, they're about fifty strong. The uh, lizard folk army is twelve, or sorry, uh, eight. Eight of these elite guys, as well as um, about thirty uh, regular lads. Um, but they, you know, they don't. They're not warriors per se like the goblin army is all warriors right and uh of course they also are sub uh sub what do you call it supplemented yeah supplemented by a uh, uh some sort of demon the goblins are or the <laughs> lizards the lizards are okay i was about to say, yeah i figured that. yo uh side note um do we see like the lizard king or some like Grand Poobah who summoned this demon? Oh yeah, for sure. Uh so there is the chief for sure like probably in the in the center surrounded he's surround he's is in the middle of the uh the lads. In fact, I'll probably make I'll give him his own uh thing, right? Okay. Yeah, basically I mean, the man. the reason for the augmented force of the elite lizard guards are these are his elite guard, you know, his personal mm. guard. Uh there's obviously a few shamans, but they're also goblins got their own shooters, you know. 
a lot of stuff going down. Uh, for all intents and purposes, I'm just going to be like kind of just describing the battle. I'm not going to, we're not like playing Warhammer here. We're not playing like Dragon Rampant for like what the hell's yeah. going on. Like we're just, this is, this is just the, you know, environmental thing going on while you're here. So if you wanted to like pretty, commit, would be pretty neat if we did though. <laughs> yeah. If you wanted to like, I don't know, commit a heist or something like that while a war was a battle, massive battle was underway. This would be a good time. Too bad it's um, not gold. So yeah, there is an exit. Yeah. Uh, there is an obvious exit to the south. Uh, here, there is uh, actually there is an exit to the north. Forgive me, I did not draw that. Does Grand, Grand Puba have the spear that we're looking for, or the sword, no. or whatever it is? No, it's one of his guards. One of his guards has it. One of his uh, guards who is injured, but we're not sure which one. Yeah, there's he like. Yeah, he took like three spear hits and then probably chugged two potions. So. Maybe he's more or less fine. They probably got like shamans and stuff in here healing him up, but just force feeding himself some moss as he runs down the hallway. Exactly. I mean, he's he's probably he's also probably got like fucking like witch cocaine in him or some shit too. <laughs> witch cocaine. What's that spell? Yeah, Enrage like or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Which <laughs> I would I would not be surprised if the lizard if the lizard shamans had some shit like that. Okay, yeah, we should have um, That would be hot clutch as hell right now. Right. Who am I oh, hang on. They are. Let me let me describe some stuff going on as well. Uh, uh, there there are some environmental effects happening as well. Um, I need a different color. Fire can uh, be red. Why are there only Easter colors for Post-it notes? Oh, like they're, they're all like pastels. <laughs> yeah. So we got we got fire bombs. Know. <laughs> you know, we got like oil, oily, slick fire bombs around. Uh, but uh, we don't just have those. Uh, we also got uh, acid acid bombs. <laughs> return, return, dude. This this place is. Uh, I don't know, man. This is some World War One shit. You don't want to be here. <laughs> The goblins brought flamethrowers. The lizards brought fucking <laughs> mustard gas. Sarin. <laughs> so, say, yeah. Okay. Um, this is the war crime episode. Yeah, I mean, this That's is an existential threat. This is this is er everyone everyone to battle. You know. Do I do some friendly fire with some fireballs? I mean, if you can place it on the chief. It seems worth it. Yeah, I guess roll initiative, right? Yeah, I, th I think the best thing to do is probably just to start with initiative. Yeah, yeah, that's that seems pretty fair. Okay, people. Okay, there we go. Someone rolled. Oh, back. nice. <laughs> and Kaius did too. Kai uh, right. Caius knows that one of these fuckers has Nightwind. That's true. Killick's gonna Killick's gonna suddenly find his front line surging forward and not have any fucking idea why while Caius is just throwing goblins in front of yeah. him. Uh <laughs> like, like move you maggots! <laughs> yeah. Uh the height the height of this room is probably at least like forty feet, so there's plenty of maneuverability above. Oh, um you know what I didn't draw? And this is also probably the, a big problem. Forgive me. This is actually very important tactically. Uh, I mentioned it for a split second, and then I just never drew it. There is a lake in the middle of the room. There's a lake in the middle, uh, which I guess is yes. So I guess does it feel like the whole room, or is it just like we're fighting them on two fronts? You're there. I think this is what's the big part. Is that I think. Um, you know, I think I think it's kind of like this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So the lizard. Are... Yeah, there's a lake between us and the demon, right? That's that's good. good. Yeah. I mean, it's an axolotl. Maybe it'll swim. That's fine. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So puppy coming up out of the water. <laughs> yeah. So this is the deal. It's gonna be like Godzilla coming out of the water and then just nuking exactly. Japan or exactly. Tokyo. So, oh, you know, it's really funny that Eric brought a demon out today because 
Guess who, during his last downtime, went and purchased an entire armory of silver weapons? <laughs> I was going to say, do we have any magic weapons? Or How anything? convenient. Ka- Caius and all three dwarves are equipped with silver weapons. Okay. D- does Ham have holy weapon? No. Uh, he does not. Okay. Well, I guess we focus on the other stuff, and y'all take um, the demon. The problem is, is that Caius has an oath to retrieve Nightwind, so I think until Nightwind is in my hands, I don't care about the demon. Yep. But the goblet. And then I think the second it. Nightwind hits my hands, maybe I have a new oath. <laughs> so it's just, this is the demon, look. <laughs> Actually, the demon? <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's no, knife. he's adorable! Who's taking a knife to kill that thing? Come on. Uh, uh, Caius, I mean, the can. second he gets Nightwind in his hands. Well, should, should, we try, he... should we try and attack the northwestern flank of this lizard folk army? Should we join the goblin army there? Or are we going to see how it plays out? I feel like I feel like we need to get in, in the chaos. Cause I think if we let it play out, we're going to... Oh, yeah, no, because no, Caius is not about to risk the goblins getting Nightwind. Because um, that's too much of a political fucking snafu to get that fucking spear at that point, and he made a goddamn promise. Oh, yeah. Um, you don't go around making promises with death just to, like, play games. Um, and so, yeah, Caius is going to... Right. Pelic had to make oh, the executive... Better. Yeah. He had to make the executive decision Ka- that he needs to keep the goblin army from run- not running away from the fucking demon. <laughs> it's, like, it's actually his job Excellent. right now. Okay. Okay, what this do you is, want to do? This is actually perfect because that means that Kellic is... The strong leadership is not on the side of the thing Caius cares about, so... Uh, how um, how how panicked do the goblins look? Do they really look fucking bad. They, does it look like they're about to break? No, no, okay. no. But uh, we can also we can. They're also, starting uh, to do the math, right? Think of it this way. Them. Yeah. yeah. So think of it this way. Yeah. Up, yeah. Probably will boost. We'll rally them a bit. Yeah. yeah, I don't think the goblins are going to be willing to fight until the last man. Um, and I think we need to keep Kellic up, otherwise they will break. Yeah, this is like a Hastings situation where, like, the uh, the Goblin army was basically pushing them back. The Lizardfolk army they were routing, and then all of a sudden, like, oh, oh no, there was we we jumped the gun, and now they are they actually are much stronger. We messed up. We should have just held back, and we would we this would have been so much better. But uh, they're committed. Mm-hmm. Good thing they're um, not here. Yeah, uh, Caius and the dwarves are going to commit to the left flank. Um, and I think Caius, Caius looks at Kondak and is just like, follow me in, I'll make a hole. One if thing the spear hits s- the ground, get it. One thing I would say is, if, if Ollie has luck, he's willing to summon a fire elemental. If he doesn't, it's too risky. Um, I think that we are concerned luck. about not killing off our allies. Yeah, so fire elemental won't kill off our allies. It kills people, especially if you put like the fire elemental behind the lizards. Let's let's do it on our turns and not spend yeah. the whole session well, discussing. That's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, Kai is the one that yeah. Kai is the one that needs to do that if he's going to give me luck, and he might just run into the battle. I'm just giving it an uh, option. Uh, I can, yeah. I'll, if you if you're like, hey, I I need like help with a fire yeah. elemental thing. Uh, Kai will go ahead and throw luck on you, and then run in. Yeah, because either way, in one turn, one turn's probably not enough for me yeah. to wade through the battle and anyway, get where I need to be. Walk over here too. Oh, nice! You did it. Uh, so yeah, take your look. Uh, and Caius and the dwarves are going in on the left side. Okay. Um. Godspeed. <laughs> Billiton's uh. <clears throat> so it's only casting fire elemental then is that yeah uh, yeah uh if it's my turn it will be your turn um mate. uh cool kaiju uh, battle kaiju uh, battle Kaiju has to attack first with his four yeah. characters yeah well if he wants to attack no they their um, your action is to move in mate Mm. Yeah, our, our action not, is moving. Uh, the only person who can even the make an attack is Drom, but I don't even know that Drom can necessarily... Actually, Drom can probably shoot a bow across the lake at one of the elite guard. I think that's the only thing 
Yeah, that seems reasonable. That's the only like reasonable attack I've got. Sure. Uh, they're not uh, unaware so of him, right? Like, there's a war going on. Yeah. So. That's fine. Uh, nine's not good enough. Yeah, it's kind of 1950s cowboy western ricochet off their shield. Uh, can I make it up to here and without expanding my entire? Yeah, yeah, entire... it seems pretty reasonable. Yeah. Like zone, like think of it in terms of zones. You know, like that's probably a zone. Um, movement then, into one of the other ones is a zone. Front lines is a zone. Uh, and then so near would then be here for casting. Yeah. So if you get up behind Killick. Well, I mean, it it can move as well. I can cast it and then it can move. Oh, um, it, can fly. it can fly, can't it? Right. Yeah, it can it can fly over the the lake. Um, so fingers crossed. Uh, Dude, my heart rate has like spiked in the last like thirty five no. seconds. Um, Imagine that for two hours, man. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's something like that, you know. Like like, look, listen. It, this is vaguely vaguely zony. Is, is this okay? Is this... Yeah. Um, yeah. Do I risk spending a luck on that, knowing that then I, I don't think have you should, luck to I cancel? Think you should it. Wait. I think you should yeah. wait. Yeah. For emergency. Well, if it's, well we sorry. either use it now or we don't have it at all. Yeah, I lose yeah, it. Actually, I think that's going to be a battle winner having the fire elemental. Actually, Even if it just goes like that, a there's, a, there's a ton of shit yeah, in there for there's a ton yeah. of shit in there for it to attack if you lose but control. But it's a battle loser if it if yeah if you cast it. And if we lose control, the worst thing it does is kill some goblins, and I kind of well, think it's going to do that passively. Does he not come? Does he not come straight for Ollie? Because Ollie no, 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 it just turns. Also, I don't know. I, d I don't know. That would be for for Eric to decide. I think. But, no, it, it okay. says it's hostile to everything. Not. Oh yeah, not nah, yeah, not nah, the whole world's its enemy. When it when it, if you fail that check. Yeah, no. I yeah. was just wondering whether it was like suddenly not under control. And it's like you fucking brought me here. You know. Oh right, and then right. It just beeline towards uh, me. It, it oh, didn't I, care last yeah. time. No. Uh, and yeah, I didn't I fail think, last time. I, I think it's really good if you put it if you put it in the middle of the lizard army and you lose control, then it's like. That's a problem yeah. for in about six minutes. You are. Boom. Right. Okay, so it's up. So theoretically, I could get it cast here. Is that as far as I can forward as I can get it, Eric? You can cast it uh, in near range, uh, right? Near, yeah. Yeah, so one zone would be like... Yeah. There. So you can either go in, in you know... <laughs> you well, can, you can throw it in the it. near range. That's true. So you could, you could throw it right, in over gonna... the... The water over the lake and have it cross straight across the lake and into the yeah the, you can summon in the water the yeah the water would be another and zone then, yeah. yeah cool uh so that's what it's gonna do for its action it's gonna move up here and attack yeah i'm treating um, the i'm treating the front lines as more or less a zone because good luck moving through that you know what i mean yeah so that's why yeah. so like but if you're going through and, over the yeah it, going over the water yeah for sure uh as a as a close if it did its close attack um, how much goblin would flesh would it consume? It's close attack. Like it's got like it's got a no, it has a near attack. You mean it, he has a near attack? It yeah, will hit anything in the zone. Is it near? So it'll just like oh. obliterate lizards and goblins alike. It'll just Correct. Hit everything. Yeah, it's yeah, it's a microwave button. It will get everything yeah, within yeah. the zone, which is also why I'm trying to describe this stuff as zones. Yeah. So, yeah. um, in fact, so what we can kind of do here is that yeah, this is I guess like. There is a this kind of this is kind of a different zone like this. So um, I mean, if he can make it into that zone and hit the hit the nuke without yeah. causing go to too the much chief and hit damage, the nuke. Yeah, you That's fly him up. Yeah. Uh, okay. Cool. Uh, so he does that. Um, uh, all exactly. within near DC fifteen dex or three D eight damage. Okay, so that would be one, two, three, four. At least I'm gonna just start with the elite guard here. Yep. Uh, Why is there no red? What the hell? Okay, all but one take the damage. Uh, chief. Uh, oh, the chief and the shamans are immune to fire. Oh, bastard. Wow. Uh, so three D eight. Do you want me to roll that? Uh, 
Yeah. Do you want me to roll it once for for all of them? Um, it's your it's your spell. If you prefer your magic to do individual damage or apply to all, it's up to you. I mean, I would say since it's an AOE, it's probably yeah. just the one thing. It's not multiple yeah, yeah. attacks. I'm, not, I'm happy for it to just be yeah for simplicity. Thirteen. Nice. Okay, that's pretty good. They didn't like that. <laughs> Sorry, Rory. I saw that you were adding the the elemental, but I had a joke in my head that I needed to get out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Is that um, it, Lewis? Uh, yeah, that's my turn. Okay. All right. They they hated that. They singed. They got singed badly. Mm -hmm. Um, Asu will run up to this zone, um, and. Chuck a, chuck a spear across the lake. Mm -hmm. uh, with the... My mighty deed will be to... Um, to, to pin... Uh, to, to break the shield of, of one of them. Uh, plus D4 now. Get, get that good there. Roman pilium bend. <laughs> yes. Yes. And that's a d6 plus 3, d6 for spear. I do this every time, and it, yeah. 6 damage. Okay, so um, these guys are engaged in that zone. Okay. Okay. Um... 6 damage. Uh, okay, so um, Kondak and Ham are going to follow Caius. Kondak regretting all of his last decisions. And um, can he shoot his crossbow at the same one that Osu just shot at? Absolutely. Now shieldless. Now shieldless. Yes, good point. Okay, he has a plus four with his crossbow. Uh, 13. Uh, 13 does not hit. Dang. And he has to, he can't Dang. move, he has to, with his crossbow, he has to stop and reload it if he wants to reload it, right? Yeah. Yes. Unfortunately. Yeah, okay. but, you, but if you stay in the same spot, you can reload and shoot the same turn. Well, you just want to get one shot off with a loaded crossbow and then he'll yeah. probably switch to his dagger or something. All right. I think the goblins will break if Killick goes down and he is currently fighting a nine foot tall axolotl. So I'm going to cat. Run on, to the are south of it. Something for Ham, contact. Oh, well, I mean, Ham cool. can't. Ham can't really do anything. Um, there's no one dead here, right? So, and no one's hurt yet. Okay. So. All right, Hiscus, uh, knowing that this battle will be lost if Killick goes down, and seeing him fighting nine foot tall axolotl, uh, will run to the south and cast protection from evil on Killick. Nice. Nice. Oh, nice. 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 Okay. Hell yeah. So, yeah. Excellent choice. All right. Um, to be to be clear, the the reason why this axolotl thing is in its own zone is that uh, there are some dead, like melty goblins around it, and there's this radiating like fear or like think of like Sauron, you know, or like so, you know, there's like nobody can get close to it, right? So they're all just like making a a wall, like kind of like. You know, but backing up. Um, oh, uh, as no protection from evil would also give uh, Killick advantage on spell casting checks. So, it, and it can't be possessed, compelled, or beguiled. So it might be resistant to fear. I don't know oh, good. Counts. Yeah, yeah. No, that would. I think that would. So he would. Okay. Well, he's in, trying to inspire his army to not break. You know. Yeah. I don't know if he's going to be able to, but. Hey, sure. we keep the goblins on our side. This becomes much easier. Okay. Um, well, uh, let's see here. On my turn, I'm just going to make some rolls here to see what's going on in the southern flank here. Uh, I'll roll, I'll roll um, two different things. Um, I will roll, and I'll roll them publicly, because you guys can see what's going on as far as the fight going. So let's see how good the goblin army is, is doing. Okay, let's see how good the Kekudama, uh, the... Uh, axolotl demon is doing 
Okay, so they're it's basically a stalemate. Uh, a four and a five of each other. Neither of them are really getting what they want. Um, let's. I'm just going to kind of go reverse clockwise. Uh, well, I guess. Yeah, I'm just going to reverse clockwise here. Um, the. All right. So this monster, this fire, uh, this fire elemental is really, uh, really harsh in their buzz. Um, so the first, uh, the first shaman, I think, I think the chief's going to probably try to attack it first. Um, so let's do that. Uh, let's see. This... I wonder if the oh, chief can he... buy a magic item can or he take... buy a spell. Because that makes a big difference to us. Yeah, it's immune to non-magical damage, but I imagine the shaman probably has some... No, sorry, the chief probably has some magical weapon. No, I, I just mean the chief. If the chief's immunity to fire is a is a thing, like he's got a immunity to fire amulet that we can get, because that would be big. Oh, I mean, like, yeah, like... Or, or if suddenly... it's the shamans gassed their boy up and he's yeah, immune to yeah. fire because of that. I'm just curious whether they've summoned this demon or it's a creature, and if it's summoned, if we can work out who summoned it. Yeah, that's why I was wondering where the where the shamans were at because if we the can shaman. collapse this left flank, yeah, the shamans are with the chief, and the shamans and the chief are immune to fire. Yes, they're basically their magical wards are working in them. They can't um, supply to the rest of them, but what they can do is they will. Uh, one of them will try to roll to heal the the guard from. Um, this damage 21 will work okay uh they are able to heal they cast as powerful magic uh, a black ooze uh pours over um the the guys who are burning um creating a balm and sort of a protection against the fire uh healing them the fucker's got an aoe heal damn yeah they're uh, but it's got like this weird ooze, and like you realize you probably I don't know they got some weird stuff. <laughs> they, were, they got these demons and this weird ooze and stuff. This is not good, uh, right? This is radiating You're not sure evil. That this would feel good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is radiating. I wonder evil. if the evil ooze is flammable. <laughs> um, sorry, I have to make a quick uh, I guess judgment decision. Can dispel magic work against a summoned creature, or does it have to be dispel magic on Ollie? It. Extra plane isn't, uh, isn't banishing it, a, a spell. Oh yeah, I, I, that's right. Yeah, I think you can break the control over it, but it's here. That's true. It it do be here. All right. Uh, yeah. You think banish would be in this book, but it's not. So banish is not a shadow dark one. Oh, right. Is. Okay. Yep. So that's probably can't do that. Let me just see what other spells they got. Um. Okay. No, I mean, they really got mass cure light wounds and dispel magic as their their thing. So I don't think that's gonna work then. Uh. Okay. That's not good. Oh yeah, we're talking about the chief though. Chief's gonna uh, attack. Let's see what this guy can do. and a plus six bonus. No, okay. He's only not too bad. Uh, okay. He rolls good. And okay. oh, he rolls hot. Okay. Uh, it takes 15, the fire demon takes, or the fire elemental to take 15 damage from the chief. Uh, the, is it magic damage? Yeah, 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 yeah. The, there's, um, is, he obviously has a, like a magical trident. There's stuff going on. There's stuff going on. <laughs> yeah. It's an understatement. Uh, sorry, so is this a level seven? Uh, yeah. Seven? Yes. Okay, so 15... Um, I can, I would point out one of the shamans is we like a human. He's not like the rest of the rest of the army's lizard folk. And what can this lad do? 
Ooh. Ooh, is that in Shadow Dark? Hang on. <laughs> Come on, Eric. Come on. Ooh, you know, is that in Shadow Dark? <laughs> Hilarious statement. No, it's not. Okay. But is there well, something close? Come on, let the lizard folk have their own classic spells. I want to be hit by them. They're, that's that's true. Well, okay. Well, I think what the uh, shaman... I mean, actually, hold on a second. Let me let me just see if this is already cast at the start of this fight. Um, I will roll a 50-50. Be like is... Tendrils no, from the it sky hasn't... sucking down what's up. All right, this hasn't been cast yet, so it makes sense. Uh, the human guy is going to cast haste on the um, on the on the chief. Nice. Okay, uh, someone else can ca get haste. He's is going to cast itself it, on himself, I guess. So I guess the chief. I'm just going to quickly resolve the chief casting. At, Brother. Uh, uh, finishing his attacks. So. God damn it. The chief is rolling hot. No, that's got to miss. Probably the, that probably misses. Yeah, AC fifteen for the fire elemental. Okay. Uh, then the fire elemental is going to get hit by a magic missile. <laughs> nope. Thirteen will thirteen casts. Uh, magic missile does does work for three. Cool. Uh, so he's taking nine, another nine and three. That yeah, that's that like that that volley. He's down to sixty. Uh, yeah. You might be casting I mean, another one of these things in a minute. Yeah. Uh, I mean, to be honest, it's better than me failing to control, keep control of it, and it coming back at me. So you know. Yeah. And you know all this, all this that they're firing on this demon is less that they're focusing on the, or not demon, um, on this uh, fire elemental is less that they're but, focusing on the goblins. Yeah, they, the, the, the rest of that army can't really do anything. So let's go to the top army, um, see what's going on here. All right, uh, two d six. How is the goblins up top faring? Okay, and how is the lizard folk army faring? Okay, uh, so. Without the chief's directions and leadership and stuff like that, yeah, the goblin army are uh, have one have a, the advantage above. Okay, but um, perfect. okay. Um, oh, I didn't do the. Well, I guess I guess technically you did the the demon versus the army. Yeah, yeah, but he can do like other stuff rather than just like how is the war going? Like he can have his like his own turn, you know. Um, but like, so he can like cast spells and, you know, he's a demon he can do weird stuff. Um, okay. Uh, well, I think the obvious thing to do when he has, since he has this time and no one's, uh, charging him, uh, he's going to try to, uh, all of the goblins around him, um, boil in orange or a uh, yellow slime, uh, that seems to drip off of him. And this slime um, will like sublimate and start to form a gate. And let's see if this works. Start to form a gate. Is it summoning another one? That's bad. Uh, it's summoning another one. Oh no! What about second demon Pippin? <laughs> that, <Run>. that sucks, dude. <laughs> That's a twenty-five percent chance. Okay. Wow. Uh, so yeah, they they gate and there are two now to the bottom. And uh, now it's your turn. Cool. Um, Caius is gonna charge to the front. Okay. Uh, Probably this cohort's behind. Ham, Ham would point out that these things are radiating chaotic energy, and that any anyone lawful uh, would actually like is almost like. Would have a benefit to attacking these things that's like they're like this fervently chaotic any of us know you know lawful? uh caius is caius is lawful evil good old neutral yeah. this case is lawful neutral lawful good. i wanted to see what happened with a wizard that's lawful good because i always play them as chaotic little goblins Ooh. 
does Killick do anything? I guess he's just a combatant, right? He hasn't got any spells or anything. No, he doesn't have any spells. He's but he's keeping the army in line. Right? They're, yeah. they're not breaking. Uh he's gonna have to do it again because I think two of these guys is probably going to uh cast uh defecate my pants. So Caius, <laughs> you charge you charged into the next zone? Yeah, I'm I'm actually going like to the to the front if I can, and I am going yeah. to Caius is going to um kind of at both you just want to muscle your way because he wants yeah he wants to directly engage the the royal guard okay uh, but also um Caius is a, a is a is a experienced battlefield commander yeah uh he is a he is a mercenary captain All right. um and with Killick being on the other side of the lake Caius is going to try and uh kind of take control of the goblin army over here and be like and lead from the front Okay, so there's two things uh, for this, right? Because there is the front lines. To get to the front line, I need some sort of traversal check to get here. Uh, you can use whatever you want. This is your, um, this does represent sort of like your expertise on the battlefield and stuff like that. But like, you know, like mm -hmm. there's walls of goblins and lizard folk clashing, right? Like to get, like you have to find that opportunity to get there. Um, if you would fail this check, it means you have to go against the lizard folk army on the far side, right? Because that's like the only mm -hmm. available opportunity. But so to sneak in Got there, it. and you have advantage with your background and stuff like that, right? Okay, so yeah, that that was going to be my question was the advantage from mercenary background. Yeah. Um. All right, and Caius is going to do this. Um. With. This strength would, you... would be his best, but he's probably going to do it with Dex out of out of habit because Caius is not actually naturally super strong, and he for this is the first time he's been in a war while having the gauntlets of might. So I yeah. think he just forgets and gets and goes back to his normal ways of weaving. Totally. Nice. Uh, right. Twenty-one. Oh, absolutely! All right, welcome to the front, brother. Uh, you're you're um, you're clashing with the with the best of them at the at the, uh, the at the tip of the spear against the elite lizard folks. Um, you're looking for yeah. like the most like the baddest motherfucker who should be theoretically piercing goblins, and you do not see him here. Uh, so like, there's no sign of the mm -hmm. Nightwind guy. But there's plenty. Of, but there's at least uh, four um, of these elite guys you could pick up. You can pick one. Okay. Um, yeah, that's fine. Uh, then, then Caius, Brom, and, and Gond are gonna kind of, uh, along with yeah. Drum, Drum's kind of, you know, the back line. Yeah. Uh, are gonna try and make a hole here. Or basically, we're we're gonna try and lead from the front and get the goblins to to really push this flank and get the lizards to collapse over here. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, thanks for the notion. And, uh, Caius is throwing a... Okay. So Caius is, is actually going to directly engage in melee. Um, Alright, that's 22. Which I assume hits. Oh yeah. 7 damage. Okay. On this guy immediately. Uh, I'm going to uh, do this Braum additively. Sounds good. Uh, oh, damn! That's it. Right. <laughs> Brom comes in with a with a bastard uh, sword brother? and just barely nicks him. Brother, uh, you did not. You roll a d10. No, but he, uh, for a bastard sword. Oh, sorry. I thought I thought you were describing Brom's maneuver into the front. Oh, this is Kaisa. Yeah, oh no, he, the he already the, rolled for I, it. I assume my cohorts are coming with me. Do I have to roll oh. them individually? Oh, um, no, what? No, that makes sense. No, they can come with you. Yeah. Okay, okay. that's fine. Got it. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. So the, the order of roles Sorry is maneuver, gotcha. Caius's attack, Brahms' attack. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, and now here's Gond. All right, we can kind of just split the army here so you all can get in here. And then Drom just shoots a bow into the mass. Hmm. Okay. The one. I assume you're all fo you're focused on firing. Okay. As much as we can, I I I would not yeah. begrudge you saying that four people cannot stack up on one guy in a melee. Um, sure. I know. I, but, I cannot. Yeah, I, can't, I literally. I say it all the time. I cannot ask for better players. I love you guys. Are so great and like yeah, of course. Like okay. Anyways. Um, Thanks. Yeah. 
Um, that you cool, right? So first things first, does Ollie retain control of uh, Fire Elemental? Yes, yes. he does. Uh, yeah, so he, then he, in that case, he is going to cast um, Magic Missile on who do we think is the primary target? Chief. Chief. Chief, right? Chief, but the chief cast. has wards, so maybe it won't even hit him. Maybe we should just focus on dropping. Ollie. Well, he's immune to fire, but usually. That might know, be because I... goblins throw fire pots everywhere. Yeah. Maybe. Um, Fair enough. So, so 2d20, KH1. Yeah, and taking out the chief plus, will probably force a morale check. Yeah, uh, plus 6. 18. Uh, so that's d4. Yeah. 1. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Not um, so fast. <laughs> not so fast. The spell gets eaten by a spectral frog that erupts from his chest. Yeah. Wow. Uh, it goes back into like something boring. amulet. Yeah, he's got he's he's got some kind of shield for magic missiles. He's a chief man. Okay. Yeah, he's. he's Which means he's someone's a, gonna have to he, fight their way up there, grab the him damn, by the scruff of his yeah. fucking frills, and beat him to death. Yeah. Uh, he's the damn. Yeah. He's the he's he's the dang uh, battle chief. He's got he's got it all here. Are the are the wizards shield walling at all? Not really. They don't they don't really have those kind of tactics. They're just kind of just um, shock. The, well, they're they're relying mostly on on shock. The, that's that's the thing. The thing is that they don't really break that way. You know. Yeah. 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 Uh, Do we I'm think gonna... it's best for the um, fire mantle to like come up oh, here right. and then just right. land in the middle and of the army, the army and cook the army? It'll yeah. keep him alive, and it'll mm. it'll maximize damage yeah. against things that aren't immune to it. Or just yeah, yeah, yeah. um, because they they can't heal them if they're dead, right? Um, so yeah, he's gonna do yeah, he's gonna land in the biggest concentration of lizard men up in the north, and yeah, DC fifteen to save right. my friend. Uh, I'm just gonna roll this for like the whole group. Uh, and just kind of this will be kind of the determine the fate if these go all like this army was one unit. <laughs> just make it okay. Like a yeah, so it's bad. Check. Yeah, so they so the so the answer is that it's bad. Okay. Right. The, so the, or this is well, that's, yeah. That's mass casualties. <laughs> Eleven. Okay. Uh, that's still enough to burn an atom. Yeah, as I say, I think that's enough to kill most regular lizardmen. Yeah. Okay. So they've these got they've got they're hmm? right around two hit dice. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I will do two things. I will split this up much smaller. Uh, yeah. And this is dead. These are the remainders. Uh, goblin armies, yeah, can pretty much push forward. Now the only reason, now the only reason they can't push forward though is because there's a they they'll get incinerated too. You done? Yes, that's me. Okay, uh, I will push up into this next zone, um, behind the goblin army, and try to break the shield of the one in front of Caius with another spear. All right, you need to do the same check that Caius did though. Uh, he's throwing. Oh, I'm behind the army, and I'm just. Oh, you're throwing. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. Not pushing sorry. Through. I just assumed that you guys were trying to melee. I'm sorry. Okay. No. Uh, D4. Ooh, crit oh, and nice. it hits. Wow, very so good. Two D two D six plus three. This was no shield, right? No, this was a uh, this. Oh, the one, one on Caius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, yeah. you said that. Yeah. So okay. seven damage, and his shield is broken. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, tenderize these these bastards and break all their shields. Do it. Uh, uh so Kondak is he's just he's really just he wants to try and look for an opportunity. Can can he see can he see the guy of Nightwind at all? Uh you're gonna have to spend your turn doing a, a an awareness test to do this. Can I move up to the next zone and try and 
look at yeah. the door? Do I have to stay where I am? Yeah. Okay. No, you can you can move up and try to uh, exit. Look. Uh, okay. Uh, and is it a wisdom check? Um. Yeah. 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 Don't roll in the chat channel. Fourteen. Okay. Uh, fourteen is not going to be enough. Okay. Uh, you can you can rule out that it's no one like, fighting the goblin army. It's one of on the guys by the chief. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So it's one of the these three in the other zone, or yeah. four in the other zone. And uh, Ham, no, no one's been injured yet, right? Ham's gonna just—he's gonna shift up and he's gonna just get ready to. Does Ham try. have um holy armor or whatever that one? Bless. Uh, he's got cure, cure wounds, light, and turn undead. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, if I chuck fireball light. at the fire elemental, would I hit goblins? Or would I just like uh... hit the? No, no, you hit around. You would hit the remaining uh, lizard folk army. Uh, All right. Uh, I can't do damage to the shamans or the chief, but I can do damage to the guards that are with them. I, I mean, the, yeah. guards. the demons might yeah. theoretically be vi vi viable targets. Um, yeah, but targets I would there. have to hit goblins that are all around them in order to hit. No, them. no, 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 no. no. They're in a different they're zone. Explicitly keeping keeping a oh, distance. Okay. Yeah. Then yeah, I'll hit the. I'll hit the demons. I'll try to fireball both of them. Do you have luck? Uh, I will... oh, no. Yeah, I have. I have luck. So okay, <laughs> okay, good. That's very yeah, we good. We don't want to one. We don't want to one. Twenty-two. Though. Okay, twenty-two will absolutely so hit them. Uh, nine points of damage. Oh. Okay. Uh, let's make sure. I'll try to hit one in the head and blat splash them into the other one. Got their attention. Okay, they both take the damage. Yeah. What's the uh how much damage was it? It was nine. Nine. Nine damage. Boom. Okay. It wasn't a very good roll, but it was uh something. All right. Uh and that would be my turn. So Eric, you are up. Okay, I'm Tell me these my... axolotls come to eat me now. Uh, no, we're gonna well, we're gonna stick to this this bottom part here, and yeah, they're going to go ahead and um start moving into the army. So I'm going to now roll uh two d six for the goblins. See how good they're holding with Kellic. Um, your enchantments and oh, you have to focus for your thing, by the way. Oh. Uh, I have advantage on yeah. spell casting for this, so okay. Well, goblins are doing pretty good, good right from now. From the goblins, three d twenty, deep high one. Yeah, you got to put the plus four at the end. Yeah, they. Oh, Dude. keep high one plus, plus four. four. Yeah, yeah. 23. Yeah, no, no issue at all. Okay. Um. Now the two got uh the two um demons though. Let's see what they're doing. So the goblin's got a 10. Oh, it's a tie. Okay, so they're n neither one can um, progress. But uh, that will occupy their turns. All right, so um, the goblins are, I guess probably seeing them burn is helping the goblins' morale. Uh, and they're willing to try to, like, you know, shoot. And, and you're just seeing these stabs of these, of these little goblin, like, pikes and stuff onto these demons, and they're not, like, doing anything because they're not magical, right? Uh, you so said that they're... the goblins had shamans and stuff. Do they do any damage to them? Yeah, the whatever. Uh, yeah, let's let's see what they can do. Um, you're right. The, I mean, the obvious one would just be, basically just be magic missile because they know that's a that's all reliable. So also, goblins just throwing fire pods at these things now. They're like, oh, oh shit, they're, fire! They're with, they're with their own lads, so they're not doing that. Okay, and second lad. Okay, yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, one, one's taking a little bit of damage. If these packs were a load of hit points. Um, let's deal with the fight going on with uh, Caius and Braum and, and everybody. Why is there this, where is this flowchart arrow coming from? Keep clicking the wrong thing. Um, there we go. Would I, would now be a good time to say, is this Lizardmen army likely to make a morale check, seeing they just had their entire, like, like they got nuked by a fire elemental? Yeah, that's a really good point. Oops, what, I'm doing it now. I mean, have they lost anyone to us yet? Maybe the, one elite? Uh, yes. Order of the army? Yeah, their entire, their entire north flank just got torched. Did it? Like mm -hmm. over 50% casualties torched. Okay, they do they do keep morale though. Lizards just build different, man. Uh, I think so long as their king is there, they're going to be testing with advantage. So, yeah, yeah, like this is. Gotta this is your, I mean, this is die. yeah. Right. There's nowhere to run. Like this is you know this is their end. So they they have to do this. Um. All right. The. I mean, hasted chief's going to keep going on the on the dang. Uh, um, fire monster. Yeah, that seems reasonable. When this thing dies, does it do the Skyrim fire elementals where they explode? Eric, just saving every like every fifteen plus roll for the chief. Last attack. Oh, there that you one. go. Okay. You you so say that, was... and then I miss two. Okay, so two of what, them. What was it? Uh, two of them went through for um, 11 damage. Just still up. All right. Uh, no. Um, it, well, it's going to get hit by a couple magic missiles, too. I think it's still alive. Four damage. Yep. Okay. Is that one HP? Yeah. Glorious. All right. Uh, goblin army up here. Okay. And lizard folk army. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, they're they're definitely folding like. Uh, but they're, we're still, like, in this zone. All right. Um, and then you want to have the guards swing on me? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Uh, 15 damage, no shield uh, on our guards going against you, Caius. First attack. Wow, a 19 to hit. All right. You cool with the or damage? 19 on the die. Uh, yeah, I'm going to eat it. Okay. I got the HP. Re-equipping a shield is too much tempo loss right now. Okay. Uh, there are still uh, three... There's still two more. Uh, I'm going to roll a 50-50. Either Goblin Army or one of you all for the for um, the three. So uh, I'm going to roll 3d2. Any twos means they're going against a random PC. Okay, one more is going against a random PC. So Kaius, Gon, Brom, Drom. So d uh, d4, not order. Caius gone Brom. Um, is Brom on the front line? Or is he Brom shooting? is on the front line. Drom is not on the front line. Got right. Okay, so Brom Brom's a valid target. Okay, so Brom's Brom's getting it from uh, one of these other lizard folk uh, champions with a with a brutal battle axe. I don't think that's going to do enough. it. Shield uh, or no? That will. Uh, no shield. He takes it. Okay. And the rest is going to go pouring into the enough. Goblin Army. Yep. Uh, but the rest of these lads here, um, you know, I think what they're going to do is hmm, actually, I'm going to make a I'm going to make a decision. I'm going to roll randomly see where they go. Uh, one to two, they're going to join the Goblin Army up front, up north, and reinforce this. 
uh, three to four, they're going to swing down to the goblin army and uh, to the south and try to route them. And uh, five to six, they're going to go into the um, to the water and maybe like flank behind group. Oh, I forgot. Oh, no. Okay, they go north to reinforce. Oh. Um, I so, I good news. <laughs> good news. They go north. Uh, I have no place to put these guys. There's no room on the damn map. Could, they would just be on the edge of the next line, right? Next to the monster facing the, the army. I mean... So, like, here, basically? Nah, these dudes just fucking muscle into <laughs> uh, down below. Um okay. Maybe maybe what this looks like is actually they uh they do kind of like use the water and like cut, crash into yeah. the side. So um this will leave up Asu and the Goblin army. Um I'm going to say two of them are going after you Asu and the two are going after the Goblin army. Uh yeah. but let me roll a 50/50 to see what the other one is. Um uh, Okay. Weren't there only uh, four? There are four. But two of them are going into you, and I was determining whether there was a 50-50 chance if the one that was going into you had a special spear. So, oh, I see. Okay, but no. Okay. Um, this means... Uh, so against you, Asu. Let's keep going. First attack. Miss. Second oh. attack. Miss. Third attack. Miss. Okay. Second guy, first attack. Miss. Hit. Uh, shield I'll, I'll keep the shield. Okay. Cool. Good call. Fucking, fucking Lamal. Hit. Shield keep or no? Keep the shield. Nice. Good game. Good call. Okay. Um. One, two, one last attack. I was counting. Um. Miss. Miss. Okay, uh, and the rest into the Goblin army. Uh, oh, let's, just, let's just see how effective. Let's just see how. Uh, I'll, I just want to see how effective it is against um, these guys. So, two d six Goblin, two d six Elite Elves. Okay, uh, Goblins are doing okay too. Okay. All right. Um, so the one who's injured now doesn't have a shield. Correct. Um, so mm -hmm. we're gonna I'm gonna start with Brahm on him. Uh Brahm is gonna go ahead and use luck. Mm-hmm. And that's seven damage on that guy. Um, which means he's up to like 22. Is that dropping? Yeah. Nope. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Gond then comes in after him. <laughs> and is also going to use his luck up. But he's still going to miss. Brutal. Okay. Uh, let Drom go ahead and get his shot off. Do more damage. All right, that will uh, fell the guy. Oh, nice. Uh, and then, so that's one elite guard down, and then Caius is gonna. Uh, that's twenty four hit play points. <sighs> oh, there's the chief over there. No, but Nightwind, Nightwind, I have, I have an oath to get Nightwind. And I don't see Nightwind anywhere in front of me, do I? Um, roll a d6. On a 6, you'll see the, the uh, one of these remaining 4. Nope. No. Too much of the scrum. Um. Okay. 
Uh, I can just keep fighting, but what would it look like for Caius to actually just start, like, taking command of the Goblin Army in order to, like, create some kind of, like, push that actually... What's your intention? So it's not enough to say I take command of the Goblin Army. Like, what do you, what does that mean? Like, what I, what what would be your what would be if you had command of them? What would you ask them to do? Because that would determine, I think, right. the role. I think Caius basically just wants to, in, like, actually get them lockstep in a line, uh, and like shore up the lines and get get the goblins like spears out first, like actually shore up their formations mm -hmm. to try and help them fight better. Sure, I'll give them a, an additional die when I do these fortune tests. Okay. Okay. Um, you need to make right. a charisma test for me, I think. Got it. Um, uh, I would say... Apply a bonus for the mercenary background. Yeah, but I would say this is a difficulty test. I would say this is like probably the DC, like, let's say 16 for you to get them to rally around you. Okay, that makes sense because I'm an outsider. But, but, but you have advantage. Yeah, okay. You forgot to keep my one. Oh. oh, you're right. Yo! <laughs> yes. Okay. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Break those lizards. She, uh, you're you're the the in goblin. Uh, do you do you speak goblin? Uh, Caius does actually. Sp Caius speaks imperial goblin. That's fine. Okay. Um, so oh, it's, yeah. it's probably like, he's, he's got like yeah. a really fucked up, like Brooklyn accent. Um, you know, something like, hey, that. I'm walking here. Shield, shield bash. Yeah. Uh, they go together. Walking here. Boom. All right. Forget about it. Like, Boom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cause, cause you know, he's, he's from the capital. So like, yeah. so he sounds, he sounds like the, the empire's goblin. Okay. And, and now Brahm and Gond are yeah. uh, They already, they put all their attacks on the lizard elite. Okay. Oh, they yeah. were first, right. They, they killed him. Yeah, me? Lewis. Sorry. Cool. Uh, ruling to maintain control of the fire elemental. 17, I do. So he My has God. movement near fly. Mm -hmm. Um... So does that mean he can cross two zones? Yeah, but it means he couldn't attack. Oh, right. Okay, so close close would just be like within one zone. Right. Near would... Right, okay. Um, I thought near was the whole zone. Sorry, yeah. Close close is hand-to-hand. -hand. Near is the whole zone. Far would be one zone away. Does that okay, make sense? Right, so, so near movement would only get him into this zone. Correct. You could only move into one zone. But because you can fly, you don't have to worry about maneuvering into the, yeah. between the goblin army and stuff like that. You can just go so, wherever you want. So, say if he was here, would he be able to attack the, the demon? Like, where is the demon in relation to its token? Like, obviously, its, its dimensions are different from everyone's. Yeah. Uh, no, they're they're in the goblin army zone. Right. Okay. Uh, so that would be like um, two zones away. Could he go here? Yeah. And nuke them. Yeah, you oh. could definitely go microwave the uh, lizard folk army over here. That's what he's going to do. Uh, DC 15. Mm -hmm. uh, DC 15 um, uh, dex check for them. Okay. Uh, again, I'm going to roll kind of like just a mass and just see kind of how it's going. Okay. Um, so they, they do make it so they'll take half damage, I think, right, from the fire? Yeah, that seems fair. Um, so I mean, technically, you can still kill him with a max roll. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> have, have saved, so. 28. 11, so 5. Okay. Um, yeah, they're... They get their shields mostly in, in the way, so they, they, yeah. they are getting shrunk, though. Okay. These, you're, just, you're burning up their reserves, though. So they're cool. going to have to commit yeah, to... Yeah. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to do... Uh, Ollie's going to cast a uh, magic missile uh, on... Uh, Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, we're good. Two D six plus uh, um, K H one. 
Uh, yeah, he's going to I mean, cast like... Magic Missile on this demon here with the 13 damage into it already. Mm -hmm. Send it, brother. And D4. Three. Three. Okay. Um, can Plinkin? I get a... Yeah, Plinkin. Uh, can I get a quick check in with you all? Is this okay? Like, is this like too boring and minutia of a battle? Like, did you? No, I am on the edge of my seat. I'm loving it. I'm really enjoying it. Okay, cool. Absolutely on the edge of my seat. Good, because like, yeah, I, just, I, I, I think I'm we're chipping in because I don't want. I don't want to like everyone's doing their moves, so I don't want to yeah. be like chipping in. And yeah, like, totally. I I understand. I, I cool. Okay, never mind then. I'll shut up. Great. Let's keep going. Was that it, okay. Luz? Yeah, that's me. Okay. Um. Are the are Gond, Caius, and Braum, or the Goblin armies using shields? Yeah, the Goblin armies um, use shield and spear. Yeah. Are I'm Gond, using... Caius, and Braum? I, uh, yes, I am using a shield. Gond is using shield a shield. Wall? Braum... Yeah, I'm, I, I want a shield wall to get this whole front so, line. So Caius already, Caius kind of already did that, though, for them. Like, they, like, his charisma check was, like, in my head, like, they made him into a shield wall. Does that make sense? Oh, so I can just join that shield wall. Yeah. Okay, so I don't even have to do anything. I just get no. the plus two AC. Cool. Yeah. This yeah, is... Kai, you probably actually hear like, uh, just over the din. Like the first thing Kaya says is probably actually like a win shield like a wall. judges of winter like command word, and then he realizes yeah. that the goblins don't know what that is, and he yeah, has to start actually do. barking and real orders. Hot center. dog! <laughs> hot dog! Hot dog! Forty four. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Blue toy two. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> well, since, since I'm already shield walled, I'm gonna try to break the shield of one of these other lizards. Oh yeah, dude. Uh, D twenty plus D four plus three. Just going around shattering shields. All right, you hit uh, them, but you don't get their shield out. You yeah. don't rip their shield out of their hands. And I'm using my uh, my bastard sword one handed for this. Yeah. Since they're in since they're in range. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, no, plus no, no. plus one, so two, but it breaks its shield. No, it doesn't. You rolled a one. Yeah, you it doesn't my idea. Oh, I rolled a one. one. Yeah, yeah, my bad. <laughs> but you do do two damage. Yes. Sorry, why am I putting this parentheses? I'll just write two. There you go. Okay. Or was that on no shield, lad? No, no, no I wanted no. to break the shield for right, right, the other yeah. guy. Yeah. I, just, I realized that as soon as I said it, I was like, oh, no, it's obvious. Of course I did that right. I put it on the right guy. Okay. Okay, cool. And do I, do I see Nightwind on one of these two guys? Since they're like right no, me. no, I remember I already, I already, I already checked that at yeah. the start. Okay. Yeah. So. Cool. Um. Who who is the most injured at the moment? Um, I'm down oh, three HP. I think I'm the only I, one that's gotten hit. Uh, I am down four. I want to say. Let me take. Yeah. You, Sorry. Um, you you got yeah, you I got four Nick. damage and. I'm at seventy percent. Took a little bit of damage. Okay, I'm, Ham's gonna Ham's gonna try and heal Ossie then. If he's gonna get All right. in there and uh, give him yeah. uh, give wounds. Uh, Ham needs to give me some sort of check to get to the front lines. Uh, okay, what can, what does he need to use? Uh, I'm leaving it up to you to describe it fictionally, but think about like you know, there's ranks of people between the front line and and where Ham is. It could be dexterity to sneak around. It could be charisma to be like, excuse me, blah blah blah. It could be wisdom to find a good route. It could be intelligence if he was like skilled at this. Use, he's going to use wisdom to see if he can just like plot a plot a route through. Yeah, like um, if he's got spot. Wise. Yeah, spot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. spot. Spot spotter. Check. Yeah. Right. So he gets like you're two. you're crossing a mosh pit, you know, like, like does, <laughs> yeah. that, does that make sense? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Okay, so so you're like, I don't know, how do you calculate it's to like navigate a mo mosh pit? Yeah. Right. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. it's a fire, and yeah, exactly. And there's a friggin' demon rolled, stuff on the other side. Yeah. He rolled an eighteen. For sure. Okay. Ham can get there, no problem. That doesn't this then that that sort of oh. traversal is, that skill check is not a healing like you know this doesn't take an action. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just it's just yeah, yeah. a difficulty movement. You know. He just he failed his he failed his his kill wounds check. Like, oh so. shit! He got but he's on the oh, damn front I, line I, I, now. I counted that wrong. Now he's in the front line. Yeah, never mind. Um, <laughs> Kondak, um I mean, it's like he he's going to keep trying to spot the guy with Nightwind, right? That's yeah. That's, he's otherwise he's got to spend a turn right. reloading. Well, it's crossbow. it's easier. It's it's easier at this point. It's not as difficult because you you you've narrowed it down somewhat. Mm -hmm. Right. There's like only four options, I think. Yeah. So I think it's a DC fourteen. The DC 4 okay. Let's check. 
It's should he use luck on this? Is no, it right? no. Because I mean, we have to kill I... through them anyways. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Fine. Okay. So that, that's it. That's it for me. Done. All right. I don't know if I want to risk fireball again without luck, but uh, so I'm going to ask this real quick. Eric, do you think I could take Fog Cloud and like cast it in a way that I could blind these nine foot tall creatures? Yeah. Without but... blinding the really short goblins? Oh, no. So no. Like, cast it so it's like up in the air and not on the ground. It's, level. Cen it's centered on you. It would blind everybody. All right. So I'm going to fireball them. Uh, yeah, that'll succeed. Sorry, what are you doing? You're fireballing what? Fireball. fireball. The two giant axolotls. Or are they in the midst of the goblins now? They're in the, they're in they the midst of the... They're, they're in the midst of the damn goblins, brother. <laughs> you just yeah, blew... They, yeah. They yeah, I wouldn't hit them then. I would probably try to hit the lizard folk reserves or whatever. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Yeah, and then I rolled uh, 14 for damage. Same rolls, just okay. different choice on who I target. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, 14 will obliterate the guys. They're... But whatever survivors are not effective fighters. All right. Uh, okay. Um, Which means that... their whole army is gone. Yeah. The yeah, they have their front line, and, and if you break their front line, you just it's... win. Yeah, it's over. That flank. All right. Uh, I let's mean, see. Those demons probably have something to say about that, but... True. Well, might, I mean, a, a demon. Trust. <laughs> the, true, but the demons are basically holding a line right now. Yeah. Uh, single. Uh, I mean, one was holding it single-handedly. Um, yeah. So I think that's probably what this one's gonna do. To be honest. Um, yeah. Uh, homie's just gonna go. Uh, actually, can he attack from range? have anything no okay so it can literally just attack straight up um they can Let's see is there anything that would make sense yeah okay um, so the one that was slightly hurt is, so they can't get to the, um, the fire elemental thing, but, uh, this guy's going to basically start wading into the goblin army. Um, and the second one is going to basically pick up that pool of acid into like a ball and just kind of like splash it like a wave across the, uh, the goblins, uh, with telekinesis with just a hand. Um, so let's see. So like that's what's going on over here. So that's I'm gonna give them another advantage on this. So goblins. Um. Well, I, th I think the ass is gonna give them a, a minus. So I'm gonna roll three d six. Keep lowest one for the goblins. Three. Okay. And let's see how good the uh demons are doing. Three and five. Because isn't it a two d six check that you were doing for these? Oh, uh, no, you're right. Sorry, there should be a, an 8. I don't know. Uh, it should have been keep lowest 2. That's what happened. Okay, yeah. so, they, so they got an 8. Right. And then the demons. Oh my god, okay. So the, go it's, the goblins are ready for it, man. They're, they literally are not breaking uh, down here. They just um, saw the, the lizard folk army get decimated and like rallied. Yeah, up. I, yeah, it's probably yeah. I don't know. Can we we can attribute it to Kellick? We can attribute it to somebody. But like, yeah, these guys are not breaking against um all of the magic of of these demons. Hey, Kellick runs Kellick. a tight ship. And Kellick's Kellick's also like immune to the demon fear, so like that's maybe part of what's got got him going on. Does his oh, see, like the, the, does his like, food swiper in all in the goblin army? Uh, I need no. to roll from it again. Just let me do that real quick. Sure. All the goblins are like, yeah, uh, if he's not breaking, then... Oh, I nat 20 to the killing you check double nat oh, you, you double nat 20 did. No wonder. Wow. 
He like grows angel wings and starts shooting right. laser beams at the demon. All right, the <laughs> the the fire elementals no more. Uh gets magic missile. Cool. Um, the second magic missile is going to go into either the goblin army or one of the players. I'm gonna roll randomly. Fifty fifty is the army. <laughs> See if these player. shamans have spotted Caius shouting orders. Okay, goes into the army, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, all right, uh, but the chief's gonna fucking enter the enter the the fray. Oh. All right. Um, he's going to. Is the chief yeah. still hasted? Well, yeah. Uh, so I. I mean, his, his brother's got to um compete just so like everyone is else. Is haste to get a him. focus spell in Shadow Dark? Yeah. So I do have to roll uh this for um the the shaman. Yeah. Okay. So he still does hasted. he have disadvantage with the giant explosions happening around him? No. And they like drilled them with fireball. Uh. No, the, not the not the chief. Chief was on a different side. Oh, he had already entered the fray. Well, yeah, the, he was the shaman. The shamans are. The one with the... Yeah, no, you didn't hit the shamans. Also, you hit the test army. Morale again. Ah, uh, that's true. Oh yeah, now that the army is dead. Um. Okay. Oh, Did you forgot the one. one. Forgot the one like me. Add that. Add it to the bingo card. Okay, they're flagging. But uh, does, I think this fulfill my boast. Uh, I, I flee. I just fireballed them, and now they're fleeing, right? Um. Well, no. What I'm giving, I'll give them a malice on their two d six fortune checks for basically right. having low morale. Um. They're not All ready. Right. They, they're not going to leave with their chief still here. So, and they have nowhere to go. But yeah, they're definitely feeling like they're fighting a doomed fight. Um, so I'm gonna give them a malice for being doomed. But um, all right, I to, I'm trying to see if the the chief needs to um con, uh, traverse into the the fray as well. Otherwise, he's gonna be stuck fighting the goblin army in the shield wall. Okay, he's able to jump ahead. Uh, I think he's just gonna basically take the spot of the one that just died. Come and get me, brother. Yeah. Let's go. Rest of the army is going to go against the shield wall there. All right. Um, he's. I'm going to determine whether or not it's going to be Brom or Caius. D two. No, it's going to be you, Caius, because you're the dude to just rally say, them. I was about to say, just rally them. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Like, Brom's just some guy with a sword. He, he he can sense another leader. Yeah. All right. So uh, this is a leader versus le <laughs> you know army leader versus army leader duel. Although you know what what army does the chief have left? Um. Nope. Not fast enough. Nope. Yep. That'll hit me. Gonna shot your shield? Uh, uh, no, I'm I'm taking it. I'm still up. That hurt though. All right, he's done. Um, but we got more lizard folk lads. Uh, one is definitely gonna go into one or you two. Uh, D two. One is Brom, the other one is Brom, two is Caius. Okay. No fear. Uh Caius, they all miss you. Alright. Um Excellent. two of them are going to the Scoblin army. Um the Scoblin army is not doing great. Let's see how they're doing against the elite guys. And they have a bonus because of Caius, right? Yeah. Oh, you're right. Sorry. Um, so that should have been an eight. I would have um the advantage would have negated oh, a disadvantage. Okay, so then And let's see how good the lizard folk people are doing. Uh also just be straight dice. Okay, yeah, they are getting uh, a little bit on the on the goblins. They're pressuring them, pressing. All right. All right. Um, can can this one lad uh, who's kind of like stuck? Can he get in here? Uh, let's do a two d twenty. Keep high as one plus two. Okay. Yeah. He. <laughs> all right. Uh, he like leaps over his companions into either Ham or Caius or uh, Gond. 
So I'm a, I'll, I'll, I'll say, it's probably Gond. Gond's in front of Ham. Ham, Caius. Nope, it's on you, Caius. Uh, I wrote Ham, Caius, or Gond. So, and you were the middle lad. First attack. Second nope. attack. Oh. Shatter, probably going to have to shatter my shield for this one. Okay. Third attack. Oh. oh. Wow. Oh. How you manage that? Yeah. Oh. Lamau. Or six. Hey, guess guess what? Still, Still standing. Fine. Yep. Level three, uh, baby. <laughs> there there are two moss healing potions floating around somewhere, by the way. Well, yes. Uh as a matter of fact, both of my companions have healing potions on them. Uh on either side. So uh, do, uh now does drinking a potion take an action? If you drink it yourself, it's free. But you could take okay. it off of somebody and drink it. For... Okay, that's what I, that's what I thought. That's that's all I needed to know. Um. So yeah, Caius Caius will, will shotgun a healing potion uh, from Gond. Well, uh, are are you I, done? I still got, no 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 no. I still got two more lads. This is the Asu flank, uh, from the water. All right. Uh, the one with no shields go to try to go around you. Uh, so he's gonna have to make some kind of strength test to get around the wall because you're you're basically holding the edge of the wall here. So let's see. Twelve's not going to do it. He's going to be stuck against you. Uh, so you hold the shield wall, basically. Uh, he can't get, he can't scram or pass and get into Hammer Kondak or anybody like that. Um, so uh, he's just going to attack you. Nope. No good. No good. Uh, that. Shield or no? Oh. You know, there, oh. there's another one coming. There's another one attacking you as well. Yeah, I'll, I'll take it. Okay. Second one. Doesn't hit. Oh. Fuck. Shield. Do you have AC 21? Yeah, I got They're in I a shield wall. Each. Yeah. Yeah, but, but there's uh, enough of us in order to keep the shield wall up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So I break my shield. Okay. And last attack. Yes. Nope. Okay. Uh, I think you hear the goblin army shout Nightwind. <laughs> uh, I was like, that's why they shrunk and then they're, uh, as their, their, their numbers are collapsing. Okay. This one? Um, no, no. Uh, this one. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought they shouted because they saw, saw it hit me. I'll, I'll put these two. Uh, marked. It's got to be one of these two who are fighting into the. Uh... Oh, sorry. Actually, it could be these three. Um, are fighting into the Goblin army. Isn't the isn't? The... Oh yeah, I guess is it the one that just jumped on me? Because the, the. No. Okay. No, it's not. I would have given him bonuses. Okay. Alright, guys. This right. is the uh, yeah. Kai this is like the end of the lizard folk. Uh, Kai's put some more health back on himself. Uh, grabs his other shield. Um, you know, grabbing your shields in action yeah. now. Yes. Okay. Yes, I am aware. But drinking a potion's a, f a free action, so correct, correct. Drinking a potion's a free action. All right. Giving a potion to Does... someone downed is a action. Mm -hmm. Does um, I and I assume that you can only do it once per turn for free. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, does um, a twenty hit the chief? Yeah, twenty would definitely hit the chief. Chief takes nine damage. Okay. From Brom. God damn it, Cond. You got Cond is having. Cond, you yeah, play like you practice. <laughs> <laughs> we need tenacity out there, boys. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Drom Drom shoots wide as everything is kind of getting compressed mm -hmm. in. Leave it on the ice, boys. Wait. 
Real quick, quick question, Eric, just for yeah. future reference. Is it an action to have a squire strap a shield on for you? It's a squire's action. Yes. Yeah, we actually, that uh, came my, up earlier today. Yeah, my Damn, turn. I should have asked that before. Oh, well. My turn? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're up. Cool. Right. Um, YOLO. Um, I'm going to try and summon another fire elemental. Yeah, yeah, let's burn some of these. Um, let's burn some of these elites, please. If I was you, I wouldn't do the fire elemental. I would focus on the two demons because well, I do not see the way that we're that's beating them. I'm, that's what I'm going to do. Fire can do damage to the demons. So he's just going to plow into... He doesn't have to do his area effect damage. I yeah. don't know if mundane fire does damage. Otherwise, the well, goblins are going to do these things. That's not your mundane fire, fire though. That's a third level spell. Yeah, it's fire elementals aren't spell. mundane fire. It, it's an extra planar fire entity. I would assume okay. it's a magical being. Yeah, it's immune to fire. Uh, he, I think he did. He did fire already. He did. No, no, he didn't do any damage. No, he didn't Pretty, do damage to the. He didn't do damage to the demons. No. Do Do I know that there's a difference? Would I, as a wizard, know that there's a difference between? The fire that fire elemental will do and fire that fireball would do. Because my mind is just fireball is summoning some fire yeah. from the fire plane. Fire. Yeah. Yeah. No, fire. it would do the same. Cool. Okay. Right. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do then. Boom. I summon two. Crit. Oh my god. <laughs> two fire elementals. <laughs> Um, so they're both going to pop up as near to these demons as I can. Jesus Christ. Oh and my god. And then start slugging on these demons. Um, Are sure we don't want these guys to try to take us off these elite lizards? I mean, they're... Uh, well, I don't know. Uh, yeah, should I split them up? No, I would focus them on the two giant demons, because I think Killick's group is pro is prone to fall back at any yeah. moment. Like they, I they, think they he's barely holding like... We've got like what ten PCs up there? Or in retainer. Yeah, yeah. yeah and no, no, it's, like, me and, it's me and Killick on one side and then yeah. all of everyone else dealing with the lizards. Yeah, this yeah. is this is the magic corner down here. Um, and the goblins are literally about to surround the, the lizard king because they have no flank. Yeah, I might just do uh, fog cloud and get the goblins on the south flank out safely. Yeah, we could switch, you know, move the goblin army around and reinforce us, or hold, yeah. hold our exit or something. Hell, kill it. Um, go help with the ones you can kill, and then we'll take care of this. Uh, All right, Lewis, do your damage. Yeah, uh, I've not. Um, I need to roll attacks. Uh, so the first one. Uh, how many hits is that? Uh, yeah. Fire elemental versus demon. two hits. Two hits. Um, so uh, three, no, sixty ten. Sixty ten. Yeah, that was eight. Three d six. No, that's for their burst damage. Oh, this is he's like thumping them. Um, which slam is yeah. D10. If he's are they both level seven, yeah, Eric? Yeah. Twenty-four. Uh, and then okay. the other one. This one's gone. Oof. Nice. Two hits again. Okay. Hang on, are you rolling three D ten for each of them? Yeah, they, they do three attacks. No, they do 2d10. 3d10, it says in... No, you're reading, the, in... you're reading the stronger one. No, it says slam attack, three, slam, plus six, 2d10, slash 3d10, or Inferno, uh, which has a separate entity. I'm, I'm assuming that's like the HP, that's the higher level one. This one, right? Are you using the lower of the yeah. two numbers? So you said it's a, the higher level one. That's why I asked, is it level seven? Sorry. Level okay, no. Uh, so it's got 30 HP or 43. Yeah, so no, it is the lower of the two. It's not a, oh, level, right, it's okay. not a level nine one. 
Sorry. Right. Okay. okay. My apologies. Okay. No, it's okay. Um, that's that's so... why. Okay. Right. So when I said so... it's level seven, I was like, yeah, because it's not the level nine one. But I didn't okay, know it's right. 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 Sorry. Sorry. I it was okay. level five or or seven. Uh, right. Three D eight. Um. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Six D eight. On the first one, thirty one. Uh, six D eight. On the second one. No, they're D tens. It's 2D10 or 3D10. Oh, geez, right, fuck, sorry. No, I'm getting too... It's 4D10. Okay. 4D10. Let's do enough damage so, to just kill them already. The, the first... The this is like 30 plus damage. Well, no, the, because the problem is he's rolling the wrong There's damage. There's too many dice. Too many yeah, dice. Yeah. So yeah. the first so, one got real hit... quick here. Yeah. Twice. I was just going to so say, does 10. 19 damage kill the one that had 16 damage already? Yes. Then it's already dead, because that was the... That was 4D10 from... If it was but, doing two D ten. No, minute. brother. The yeah. problem. The problem is that uh, twenty. Oh, roll, roll them doesn't roll them in order. Yeah. 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 Mm. Unless you do the 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 pound sign. Okay. That's that dead anyway. Let's put this yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> you did more damage <laughs> with the <laughs> less. <laughs> nice, dude. <laughs> yeah, okay. You're loud. just like you're like okay. Well, fuck you, Eric. Let's <laughs> do more damage. <laughs> dude, that's yeah. awesome. Dude, that's yeah. sick. All right. Uh, so 37, is that enough to kill the second one? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. I'm just picturing Fire Elemental, like, grabs it and does the whole rip its jaws open and just, like, right. belch lock and then fire down its maw. <laughs> All right. I mean, with with the with the destruction of those guys, uh, it's pretty clear that the lizard folk are, are dead. <laughs> but go ahead. Uh, that's my turn. Oh, you dispel them then? Uh, Ooh, no, I no. Think I, I would <laughs> yeah, forcibly. <laughs> oh, oh, the fire uh, elementals. Oh, sorry. Did I delete yeah. the fire? I, I, sorry, yeah, my bad. Yeah. You have to do that on your next turn, right? Roll yeah, for yeah. it. So if... <laughs> no, Caius is too turn. busy to come out and give me yeah, luck. Yeah. Um, These things go bad. Because I, was actually, I was actually thinking that you should follow me into the fight so that I could give you luck if we had to. Yeah. I mean, that's a fair point. And on his turn, Ollie might move closer to Caius, because he is aware that he has summoned not one, but two fire elementals now uh, that could both turn on us. That would be an interesting way for this fight to end. All right, do we uh, okay, want to finish up this fight quick? Yeah, my turn. Yeah. Um, can I... Does Ham or Kondak have a healing potion that I could snag Kondak off him? Kondak has a potion of healing, yeah. Could I... Okay, so could I... I guess taking it off of him, though, would be an action for me. No. No, because it was a no, reaction for you. Okay, so I'll... Yeah, I'll it's just that. a... They can just hand you it. It's a D, D6 plus one. Is it the Moss one? Or... Uh, no, it's a normal potion of healing. Which is 2D4? Yeah, I believe so. Are they 2D4? Fuck me. What, what is with these crap? Okay. Health, specifically, is just a role that does not like you. Yeah... Uh, do I have a shield equipped? I think you shattered it. No, you shattered it. Yeah, do we still have the shield wall? Yes. Oh, yeah. So, so then, you, yeah. You don't have your equip, shield. Yeah, and then my action will be equipping my shield, which will bump me up to 21. Okay. Uh, I guess that's all I can do. Yeah. Alright. I'm not sure what, what Ham can usefully do here. Should he should he wade in, just try and get some hit points off these things, or I mean, does Ham have like a a, a melee weapon? He has he has a a, a staff. <laughs> it's a two handed staff. Um, I mean, I mean, he might as well, right? He's in the front line now. He can he can pole arm attack over the goblin shield wall. Can he? Okay. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna. Roll. I mean, I'm, gonna I'm, I'm asking like Eric, but that that seems reasonable. Did you say a prayer to to get your cure wounds back? Uh, I don't. Can you do? You can't do that, right? No. I don't know. Make penance. Throw <laughs> throw something. No, into the lake. <laughs> you can't. No, it's gone. Oh, he's a, he's a halfling. He can turn invisible. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, on the. Oh, he's got minus one to hit with this thing. So anyway, he, he'll have a go <laughs> trying to bonk bonk one of his elite lizards. <laughs> Oh, he hits. <laughs> oh my god. 1d4 damage. Free damage to one of them. Actually, uh, if, it, if you're using it in two hands, I believe it's a d6. Uh, 
uh it doesn't say that it doesn't say that on the uh on his sheet it's oh, just one before yeah. Yeah, yeah i was like you could be aiming for the one with no shield it's easier to hit well he went after the other one like a boss yeah uh and uh Kondak, i guess will shoot his crossbow at um at the yeah. one without the shield yeah. you stand still you reload you shoot okay yeah should he use luck? No, he's not using luck. Oh, oh my god. That's me done. Okay. Oh, that I completely forgot. Uh so Caius or or Asu, um, know who else is in this army? Oh. Micah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike, like he, in the middle, he's yeah. Downtime to join the army. Yeah, he's literally up here in the in these ranks uh, with the Goblin yeah, army. We need to be rolling for. Him. Mike is the one who's yelling Nightwind in the front yeah. line on the other side. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like, dude, I see it. I see it. It's I right can't there. get to take it down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Has he survived the battle up till now? Yeah, he's he's still up there. I mean, we've been winning hardcore. So I don't know. I'm assuming there's dozens of dead goblins on my side. Yeah. Having faced these uh, demons, I don't know their their army size is still posted. No size, right. is still quite uh, big. He's not doing great, but he's there. Uh, I don't know, how much health? How much health does he have? Didn't he have like fourteen or something stupid? Yeah. Can you roll two d eight? Me? Yeah. Dude, he's taking he's him, taking two hits. Okay, he's taking six damage over the course of this fight. Let me let me find his. Oh, there he is. So yeah, he could have died. Caius Ka Ka got down to one HP in front of the Goblin Chief or the uh, Lizard uh, King, and he's just like, "I ain't hear no fucking bell." <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this is actually Micah's sheet because there's right. like nothing in it. What, didn't he keep his sheet separate? Yeah, it's it's like, his sheet. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah, it's a. He he doesn't know. He like plays from his phone. I don't know. Yeah. He, he's an interesting character, uh, but it, like you would never know. Like he just doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. Adam's turn. Um, I don't really see anything I can do, so uh, I'll go and try to I provide mean, medical aid to any downed goblins. Okay. I don't you know. Not like magic missile. Uh, some. I don't have magic missile. Oh, you don't. Uh, literally, fireball is my only damaging spell. I can cast alarm on the lake for when the kraken comes out of it to eat us. Could you place a fireball like very peripherally, or is that? Yeah, no. I mean, the lake is a separate zone. If you cast fireball in the lake, you would hit these three elite guards. Can I do that? Can I cast it into the lake and then try to boil it like up into them, like blow them out of the lake? I think we want to keep them there. Yeah. Not you can try, yeah. Alright. You wanna you wanna blast the lake and try to hit the, the, the lads there? Steam them. Yeah. Yeah, do it. Uh Ooh, 22. Uh... Yeah, no fear. Uh 16. Ooh, okay. They're still doing okay. Oh they got hit. They won't survive another one of those for sure. Um Okay, uh, I mean, with with the downfall like this, I feel like, um, I mean, the chief would would probably want to like, so, I mean, so like, ba okay, uh, the chiefs, Ka the chiefs would tried maybe, it, like actually yeah. look at him and say, yeah. like, do you, do you want no, a no, no, death no, no, no. worthy of song or you want a parlay? Yeah, well, I think it's like one of those things of like your trident's like locked against your shield, right? Like it's like the top mm -hmm. of it, and you, like you, he's like you know. It's like, uh, and and broken uh, our Kantian. He'd be like, you know, save my people, you know. So he would. You take his surrender in exchange for the spear. Get him to give us the spear. No, well, ask Kellogg. Uh, yeah, yeah. Kellogg has uh, kind of final say here, doesn't he? The day yeah. is your. Yeah. Well, Kai, yeah. Well, he'd be like, the day yeah. is yours. You know. What, what, but also, it is unless Ollie loses yeah. control of the fire elementals. Uh, we will, Kai, yeah. Kaius will say, like, Kaius will say, um, we, yeah. we will die to uh, protect ours, you know, to the end, unless you, yeah. Do, so, this, uh, I, I would say, 
Surrender Nightwind and your weapon to me. Yes. And flee these halls. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, also, he doesn't also know what Nightwind is. Them depends on Kellick. Yeah. Yeah, Kellick might pursue, but we can always. Uh... No. Uh, I, I think I can convince Kellick. So, uh, so yeah, Caius, Caius is going to take their shit, though. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to give one of these magic yeah. weapons to Killick. As they're not prize. expecting, to, yeah. mm-hmm. they're not expecting to keep their weapons like that, you know. Yeah, yeah. for sure, they're surrendering, but they keep their locks. What are your arms? All your and they're and, yeah. and yeah, give all your magic items. The, I mean, the other, I mean, I guess they can't. They're not really. I ideally, you know, ideally they don't want to be slaves, right? They let them be free. Yeah. If you're willing well, to offer that, Killick to decide. Um, well, he's a, offering yeah, it. A, he's like, asking Caius. Yeah, that, like that's the thing. Caius will, uh, will let my people of... be free, and we'll we'll surrender. We'll stop this bloodshed. Caius, mm-hmm. uh, I think, is just gonna level with him and just says, "For Nightwind, I'll speak on your behalf." Yes, <laughs> and so it was, you know, and. I think uh, that and he'll whisper Caius will all right. Um, sorry, Caius so, will like hold his hold his like will yeah. will tr- will sheath his sword, uh, swap his shield to his right hand and offer his left for the the lizard man's um, oh. like trident. The cry, yeah, he'll he'll hand over the when when the chief hands over the trident, uh, the force against the shield walls, uh, abates. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, the goblin army will obviously has with your 20 to command them. There's no question that they will do what you say. Uh, Adam hates this, so he's leaving. <laughs> just kidding. He said BRB. Uh, okay. Adam was like, no, I wanted death. Uh, uh yeah. And one of yeah, these, well, I, actually, of the, yeah. how, how, do, how do these, so Adam's oath to, to make them flee, and our two two of us had oaths to eliminate the guard. How does this play out with letting them survive? Like, could they be demoted? I would, like, I I would say like uh, you you like met them you, in battle, defeated them in total surrender. To me, is like that's, yeah, you neutralized yeah. them, right? Like yeah, well, like, so to God, me, that's surrendering a all their weapons and leaving. Yeah. Dude, yeah, I yeah, was just like, curious how much of a rule sticker the gods would be for eliminating oh, yeah. the guard. The, <laughs> no, they expect you to die. Like, you know? like, like you, the, all of the classic legends are about taking your enemies hostage and, like, yeah. you know, between yeah. like noble combatants and stuff. This is the kind of shit the gods love. Yeah, you bested them, right? Okay. So, yeah. So Ooh. it will be. It will be okay. So, uh, in the lull, yeah, one of these, uh soldiers will um step forward and uh take off their helmet and uh hand over a ebon spear to you guys oh, finally only took like 20 sessions i i uh kaius, kaius, full on kaius action war kaius, kaius takes it and looks at kondak and holds it aloft sheds a yeah, tear yeah. for your fallen like, head and and just says for that ugly mad dog. Attilus. Uh, and, and, uh, you know, is then gonna I walk over to Kellick because he's gotta, like, talk to Kellick about what our terms are gonna be for the, the lizard men. Yeah. Uh, and I'm probably gonna hand the trident to, like, Brom or somebody. Uh, I'm holding Nightwing myself, but I'm gonna hand off the trident to one of my retainers to like carry it um, and we'll figure out what to do with it in a minute I'm probably going to see if I can if we can identify it um, to Asu or bef- something before we, we leave the mentions. initiative yeah that's a <laughs> oh, shit, that's right, right to ask before we leave initiative does Kaius have time to give me luck because I might need it I mean, I would, I would argue that uh, holding the, that taking the spear from the chief and like victory is inspiring. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, yeah. honestly, yeah. winning. Yeah, you just defeated the lizard army. Like the gods probably yeah, grant you luck. 
I think I think that's actually pretty reasonable to say that yeah. Uh, as of, right. as so do, do I get a do I get a bonus to my inspire roll? No, you don't have to inspire. They they're lucked. Everybody has luck. Oh, I just I just do it. Yeah, I think yes. everybody I think everybody just gets luck. Yeah. Oh, we just get it. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. I mean, you literally just like we're part of a war. <laughs> yeah. I feel like right. I feel I mean there's okay. a... I you know I agree. Right. I like it. So I'm I'm rolling this then? <laughs> yeah, just cool. You got this, dude. Yeah. No fear. Right. No fear. <laughs> you have to roll for each one though. Sorry. Yeah, each no. one. There's another one. <gasps> Do I? Right, okay. Spell the other one, yeah. That's a failure. Um, I saw Varen's <laughs> eyes just look up at the camera. Wait, uh, so can I roll to see if I keep control of them at least before I decide whether I'm going to spend luck on them on this? I mean, I keep yeah. control of it, uh, so I try again on my next turn. Like, I, I mean, how, how long do we want to spend doing this? Should I just roll again? Yeah, basically yeah. the turn would be us disarming. Yeah. All of them. Yeah, so go ahead go and roll again to see. Weapons and magic items and everything. Yeah, so this is to dispel it. Jesus, to keep control. Oh, well, I need to decide whether I'm going to spend luck on it now, don't I? Or can I... No, sorry, you... I hold on. You have to roll to keep um, control. Like, the focus has to come first. Okay, so to that's first. Yeah. Right, so... You lost control. I lose control. But uh, then you can cast to dispel it. D20 yeah. plus 6... There are two. No. And luck. Ninety <laughs> plus six. Oh Jesus! Fourteen. Uh... <laughs> right. So it goes out of So we can't. All right. So yeah. So we can't leave initiative. So we start. So we start walking, and then suddenly it's like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's not over. Okay. Um. Bring it down. It's only magic items, magic weapons that'll yeah, hurt it. Yeah, it's immune right? to mundane damage. Oh, Osu, get your yeah, ass can... up here right now. I, I'm I can... right here. I'm I'm in the line with you, but I don't have a magic weapon. I can try and dispel it again on my next turn. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's got aggro. Well, I mean, maybe uh... it's distracted with the goblin army. I'm gonna. I can Whoa. tell you as an element, it's going to roll fifty-fifty, whether it goes to the army or it goes to you. Oh no, because it couldn't attack if it goes to you. It would have to fly over zones, too many zones. So that does answer the question. Then. But it would be Asu's turn, which I guess he doesn't want anything to do with that. Yeah, I mean, Kaius was telling me to come over there for for what? I, I, because I'm, I'm currently holding Nightwind, but I also have the Chief's Trident. Uh, I mean, which I'll we know either. is a magic weapon. I'll take either. Uh, he's just gonna, he's gonna toss you the Trident right now, just because. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Trident is not in here. Is that a D8 a spear. D10? Ten. So it's just a spear, basically. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um. It was like, I'll tie a rope to it so it can come back. Or does, does it magically come back? Chief, what I mean, does this magic do? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a plus two? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, so are we going to run over there? Or like, what, what's sorry. The plan? Uh, so, sorry, the do spear, you know the spear does... Thing. Yeah, the spear does... Um, the, sorry, the, um, the tr this trident, uh, I guess if it does have a power, it does D8 instead of D6. And it's a plus two, you said? Yeah. Guys, let's not fight the fire elementals. Let's just do not get back with it. cloud, and then we Hold all run. Spear. No, we have yeah. to do... Well, if we flee, the goblin, the lizards are just gonna not give us their shit, do whatever, and like... I think we've already got their shit. No, yeah, we, they yeah, we're, we're still in initiative. initiative. No, yeah, we're still yeah, in initiative. Yeah, but this was a number of turns. Like, they, we were just counting what I was doing. I assume everyone yeah. was disarming the, the lizard men. Yeah, at least two whole rounds went past. Yeah, yeah. At least two whole rounds went past before. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, 
Um, so I, I mean, I guess we, we just wait, see if it comes over here. Like, I, I, would yeah, move. I would maybe throw, throw any magic you have at it that could I don't harm have it. anything except this trident. I'm not just going to toss that. <laughs> to... I mean, it's better to you. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's up to you. Yeah, not if we're considering fleeing. I'm not going to yeah. throw the new magic item that I just got and then run off. Yeah. <laughs> it's... yeah. So I'm going to stay here, hold the shield wall, and just be like, uh, I guess I'll do a, a morale boost to be like, yo, ready up. The, uh, the, the elemental's coming. Um, do I, I just roll the, 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 the mighty deed? Yeah. One, no, nothing. Okay, okay. they can't hear you. <laughs> All right. Anything from Con anything anything Con Kondak can do, or is this above his pay grade? This is above his pay grade. Kondak is falling back to the exit, man. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, uh, so, so is Ham. Yeah, and then Hiskus is just gonna look at uh, Kill It. Could go. We need to go. That thing is out of control, and uh, he's gonna try to fog cloud the area. Mm -hmm. Or sorry, he is two D. 20 keep high. Uh, you would have to be a part of the group to fog cloud because it's around you. It would fill up the zone yeah. that you're in. I'll be yelling to kill it to be through the clouds because yeah. those things are out of control. And I'll yeah, uh, yeah. smoke cloud the area to get cover. Back in fog. Okay. Uh, 21. For sure. All right. So. Well, Hopefully, Killick will be smart and back away from it. To to be a stickler, does it act on my turn? Because that's when it was acting before. Or yes. does it move into your turn, Eric? How did we Good do it question. last time? It's never, I've it's never lost control. control of it before. Yeah, uh, It's controlled by a GM, so I think it's my turn. I think it goes on my okay. turn. Um, otherwise, my I have, do the, otherwise, I have do two GM and... turns, and it's... Yeah, do the goblins yeah. act first, or do they act? The... I was, I was going to literally roll initiative, just determine between the two. Okay. Um. So d20 for the goblin army. d20 plus two uh, for the fire elemental. The cool. goblin army goes first. Hey, Kellick runs a tight ship. Okay. Um, Kellick is a fucking baller command. I'm. I need to figure out how to poach Kellick from King <laughs> Bo Eskingen. Okay. Uh, I mean, if that's true, if they can go, if they can go, if there's, if it's equidistant between two forces, I'm going to roll randomly. One is a Kellick and the Goblin Army to the south. Two is uh, the everyone not fighting in the north. What about okay. the shamans? Uh, the shamans would be with the king, the, the chief. Oh, okay. They'd be handing over their stuff. Too. Fair enough. Um, I'm going to have to figure out what the hell is in this lair, <laughs> by the way. I have no idea. Uh, so as far as treasure goes, um, obviously like the goblins will get most of it, but you'll get some sort of percentage, a decent, a very, you know, a high percentage is it given, um, circumstances. Take that throne and offer it to the king. But um, okay. So I mean, all I can do is move. Uh, so now, yeah. So now there's this fiery fog cloud, uh, to the south. Um, it's my turn. I'm going to, on my turn, run over and grab Ollie by the scruff and say, "Get rid of it now." Oof. Not that does <laughs> that does not inspire you. <laughs> Damn. Do you I, have actually? Luck? You know what? I'm gonna spend my luck on trying to make this work. We've all got one more luck. Yeah. There you go. There's your luck back. Sweet. My gun. So yeah, Caius runs over and grabs you. So on my turn, can I can I just go ahead yeah. and try yeah. and spell again? I think you need a 16, right? There oh. we go. Oh. Thank God. <sighs> With no casualties. Okay. Yeah, because I, I, that was going to get seriously bad. You got a bit oh, scared at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He you was know, all like excited, we've... celebrating, and then you lose control. Like, fuck. Sorry, that was a... we've, we've just cost the goblins <sighs> a significant amount of resources, but gained them a lot. 
Yeah. If a fire elemental just tore, tore the rest of their army apart, that would be... Yeah. Um, That'd be bad. That would suddenly right. go to a net positive to a net negative. Right, cool. So do now, the lizard folks oh end up destroyed by this, or do they end up uh, like still here paying tribute to King Whiskin is the question. Uh, that will be determined, I think, either... We either can either do it through a downtime action, or we can play it kind of out kind of now. Um, do we want to do that? We've got 30 minutes. Do we want to go ahead and... Are people interested in, in doing that in session? So, yeah, I'm looking for the dang... Where's all the dang treasure in this room? Um, yeah, I would rather see... It sounds like it's going to be like a weird... treasure and have us split that up in session, and then, the, then do the political in what happens as like mm -hmm. a downtime thing. Okay. Treasure C text. So do I fail my uh, oath unless I? No, I I asked this earlier. Right. No, he, he said it's fine. It. Well, yeah. I think that the quorum agreed that it was yeah. fine, right? That's yeah. He said yeah, he yeah, said yeah. both of ours were fine. That they didn't uh, have to mm. technically flee or be eliminated. The fact that we just like got them to completely surrender is will count. Yeah. Okay, because I was absolutely willing to push to have the lizard folk flee the halls of Ardenville completely, and like that would be how I get. Yeah, it, it's like you don't yeah. want to be slaves; you leave Ardenville. Okay, just the... like, leave everything behind and be refugees. We're going to cause a refugee crisis. Do some war crimes. Yes, we're such wonderful people. Just add it to our list of war crimes. <laughs> Okay. Are we, uh, are we the bad guys? <laughs> Always. I mean, Caius actively is. It's a, a reference to a British TV show. Yeah. We have skulls on our helmets. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay, let me do the math here. One second. I'm, I'm starting to... First, I'm going to do the combat experience. This has got to be so much XP for a fucking army. D depends on, depends well, on if, it's we, gonna get if split. we get counted. If we split it with the army. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, so that's 107 half shares. <laughs> that's exactly what I'm thinking of. There's like, there's like the goblins count as like 50 half shares. Yeah, yeah we're going to get like 100 XP and two gold. <laughs> two demons, a rogue fire elemental. No. Yeah. Um... Yeah, you should you should get you should get a fraction of the XP for the demons for sure. I mean, um, all the XP. We, I mean, we no, did, that's like, true actually. No, yeah, it's, yeah. Sure we killed the demons. All they did Ollie was hold killed the, the demons. <laughs> well, I mean, Ollie's that's part true. of the party. He, we also and, killed I mean, all their the army. Line was his, also part me. <laughs> so uh, like, yeah. Hiscus, Hiscus with the protection from evil and the fireball. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna make it a nice, clean, even five thousand experience combat. Each? No. Oh. <laughs> Each? But total, total, dude. This is OSZ, man. Relax, uh, brother. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, as far as treasure goes, I'm looking for immediately anything, and the fucking book says in the room for the text for the hall. It says treasure C text. So hang on a second. I don't understand. I'm looking at the text, brother. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> The treasure um, was the text you okay. read in the room. All right, so I do have the throne value. Uh, the throne is going to be worth um, 885 gold. Cause it's, right. those, that's because of the gemstones embedded into it. Yeah. Uh, in addition, there is one of those very fancy golden eyes that we saw from last oh, session. Yes. That's a magic item. Another one. Yeah, yes. we, we, we need two, that. We got two now. Yeah, Micah has the oh, first one. Oh, nice! So we can we can use those. We can use them with the the face yeah. sculptures. And and I make a is, actually is Micah playing in any of the upcoming sessions? Because I might just take it off their character since they're here in the army. Micah's not playing tomorrow. Who who is Micah? Is Who's the Jay, player for Micah? Jay, Jay. Jay's not playing in any of the upcoming sessions. Can I make a? Uh, can I just take it from him since he's here and hold on to it? Fine, message him and see if he's okay with it. Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, there is a statue in the northwest corner that depicts a crouching bipedal humanoid uh, with massive emeralds in its eyes. But the king says you can't take those emeralds. Um, or I guess the now de deposed king says you cannot take those emeralds. If you would touch them, another one of those demons will be summoned. Okay. And is relig is our religion? Kai. Yeah. Kai Kai immediately thinks back to the the last time he ripped a de uh, an uh, em yeah, or a eye, massive gem eye out of a. Yeah. So he won't Can we take the whole statue though. Yeah, I mean, like I think we're not leaving them the ability to summon those demons. That's that like religious artifact or not? You know. So like the stat the statue is covered in acid, that it leaks out of its eyes. Okay. We can leave the statue, but I have all of the are definitely coming back to the halls and being offered to the yeah. king. The statue uses just, an, acidic think... uh, an acidic slime, which was what was thrown. Nice. Okay, so if we just get some 10-foot poles and like lift it up and put a floating disc under it, it should be fine. All right. Um, we can move it. Well, let's go through the rest of the loop before yeah, we let's try, get to to that try to session. game some stuff. Okay. Uh, there is a uh, amulet of armor, uh, which will get, which is the equivalent to chainmail. So basically, one slot wearing an amulet gives you chainmail without the disadvantages. So kind of like mithril chainmail. So can we put that on a wizard? wizard? Yeah, wizard. Yeah. So like basically, yeah. it's yeah, good grant. Uh, Lucas, there we is. got a rock, paper, scissors for this shit. No, no, I can wear plate mail, so you take yeah. it. Oh, you can? Okay, uh, I'm absolutely taking it. Uh, there is a, a belt of lesser might, which uh, sets your um, strength to 16. Uh, my strength is 16 already. Mine's 17. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, mine is seven, <laughs> so it would be useful for me. But I'm also a thief, so strength isn't. Yeah, but I mean, all melee good. weapons would benefit from a plus three, then. So plus, you can like kick open a door when you're taking point, and we get stuck with a spooky uh, slime after us again. That's true. I mean, I'll, I'll take it if people don't. If no one else wants it. Yeah. Were you the one that got stuck in the point during that and was like trying to open a door, or was that Ollie? No, know. Ollie's pretty strong. So no, that was Ollie, but he's very strong. But it's a very hard test. Oh yeah, yeah, in the, yeah. the tombs of Adrianic. Yeah. Uh, okay. let's see. There's there's more magic items. I'm just looking them up if they yeah. are in Shadow Dark or not. So hang on. Uh, sorry. You... Spell books. <laughs> um. Yeah, you could take the spell books from the uh from the people. So. But give me a second. Uh, I'm trying to see if it's here. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's quite good. With my oath now, I've got a plus four to hit. In okay. Yes, uh, there is. Uh, there I is an. Yeah. Okay. Mm. There is a amulet of uh, vitality, which sets your constitution to eighteen. While wearing it. Being being at a con of like seven. I have that's a plus like four. Stat. Okay, you get you get <laughs> you get dibs. Kondak, you said you wanted the uh, the belt. Yeah, the belt of lesser might. If that's hell yeah, that's all right. Now the only person who could use it is uh like Brom, and I don't I don't I don't know how we feel about giving underlings magic items. <laughs> Yeah, only if nobody in the party can can benefit from it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but also, to, not, to, I mean, yeah, I'm. I'll it. take the amulet. Um. Okay. There's. Oh, it makes it eighteen, not sixteen. Nice. Which also means you gain. You probably that's like a five HP swing from level one. Oh, it's retroactive. Yeah. 
or at least I, okay. that's my understanding. I think this has been discussed. This has come. Oh yeah, because we we deduct yeah. max HP when we take con damage. Yeah. All right. Uh, there's another magic item that I need to look up. It's new. Sorry. What's the modifier for four? Eighteen is a plus four. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying, eight, eighteen's a plus four. What's the modifier for four? That's minus two, isn't it, or minus three? Four is a minus three. You gain seven, seven health. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah guys move over, me. Micah. Especially for like now? a front front liner. Yeah. Um. What did your health just jump to? Seventeen. Hang on. So, so there is this. I'm, I'm actually like kind of getting all the treasure out. I think you should not count these chickens yet because I think the goblins will probably still get first say. They will oh, pick one shit, of the treasures yeah. and then, gonna, and then everything else goes to ev everyone else. Wouldn't that be okay. part of like our negotiations with like King Whisking? Well, then we, we don't get to dish it out. Then we need to wait until King yeah. Whisking. And yeah. That would make sense. Yep. Um, the. Okay. Okay. There are. I have to do a count of these because this is crazy sorry you all just like completely did, like beat, beat a faction that i barely read but like in a day so uh <laughs> uh hang on hey, I, I get uh you all, all you all you all just like mine out this thing and all of a sudden there's a there's a war that just turned into a massive route and uh all of a sudden that's so fucking wild by the way this escalated so quickly yeah. <laughs> okay we saw our opportunity and we took it those those guys shout out I just want to shout to out someone. Yeah. I just want to shout out everybody who was in the morning session today. Okay, there is there are two of these is total. Um there are these um dried gem like objects uh teardrop shaped of pure chaos. Um the Oh shit. The shamans call say that they are called tears of Coquette, who's the god, and they point to the statue with the acid. Coquette. I look Would the, the priest wizard. be able to tell us more about this? Um, well, they are yeah, extreme. Yeah, they are extremely chaotic, like literally pure chaos. Yeah. But does yes. stuff work like Arcanum? It does work like Arcanum. <gasps> Oh shit! Sorry, sorry, it's more risky than Arcanum, though. I must be true. Yeah, yeah. It could have yeah, much more detritic effects, detritic effects, and chaotic effects than. But so, so two tears. To to enchant items and stuff. What if you re-enchanted the conjuration robes that Kondak has? Hmm. Just summons <laughs> demons out of the pockets. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um. So there's two of those. That'd be funny. Uh, we're not done. Um, there is another we're item. In, sorry, there is another item here. Uh, the there is a plus two dagger. Uh, I wish Michael was here. <laughs> Be over the moon. Contact. That seems like There's a perfect thing here. for you. I would. I mean, I would do, but I'm not going to. I, I want to see what's, what's all there, and then we can decide where it goes. You know, before. Oh, I guess. Right. I guess what the king? What the, what the king's? What the king wants to take as well? Because he's going to. Yeah, want we gotta. Else, so. That's awesome. Um Ah, here we go. Here's the hoard. Okay. Um there's a pile of mixed coins. I found the hoard now. Okay. Twelve thousand copper, eighty five hundred okay. silver, and uh thirty eight thousand gold. Thirty eight thousand sorry, thirty thirty eight hundred, thirty eight hundred gold. Sorry. Oh um, you have to be so excited. Uh, there's about ten. <laughs> Ed, Ed almost fell out of his fucking chair. There is. There's ten thousand <laughs> gold pieces of jewelry, though. Whoa. Okay, so maybe we will. I will finally hit level two. Uh, there is. Well, you're not Brother, getting all of these. You're gonna be one going. from three. Uh, there is a solid platinum statuette of a crouching panther, <laughs> worth ten thousand gold pieces. Unfortunately, that's going to the king because it's cat. Yeah, it's a cat. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. So, which means you can get ten thousand gold pieces of treasure as as a split for this. Thank you. Um, you also get okay. Uh, there is plus one ch uh, plus one chainmail. There's a okay. You're gonna have th one. 
to there's three basically legendary swords to just to, to talk about. Oh baby, three legendary swords. Oh, well, yes. Nightwind. No, I'm not including that's, that's not Nightwind. including Nightwind. So okay, so for starters here, um, there here's what we, uh, there's a necklace of adaptation, which I don't even know what that does. Uh, um, it lets you like breathe anywhere. Yeah, that and, makes like, sense. Yeah. It's, like you can go underwater so, like, and stuff. You can, yeah, you can chuck someone on the moon and they would be okay. Oh, sick. Okay, so there's one of those. Um, there's a necklace of adaptation. Uh, so. For starters, there is a weapon uh, that is called Nine Live Stealer. Wait, Nine Live Stealer? Yeah. Which I have to look up in AD and D, uh, but that's because I've heard that one before. That's not a that's not a yeah. new one. Um, but there we got some, we do have some new ones here. So give me a second here. Uh, there is. All right. So the first. Legendary sword is called Nine Live Stealer. The second one is called uh, Des Majeure. Uh, and I will have to look up what that is. And then um, there's just a weapon called Dragon Slayer. So hang oh, on. I have to look that up. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> All right, hang on a second. So let's go to magic items here. Uh, we are looking at Dragon Slayer. Thank Maybe God they're both. The the dragon. Right? Um. I could probably. pull open my copies of Arden Vool that I have somewhere on my computer and help you look oh. up some of these treasures and just copy paste them if you want. I think AD. I think it's a. I think Dragon Slayer is a AD and D one. Yeah. I've got Osric. Well, isn't... Osric. Right. Yeah. I got right. Isn't this written for Osric? Okay. Um, yeah. I have it. I have it. Um, Dragon Slayer. So there. Okay, this one's not a legendary. So Dragon Slayer is just as it's. Well, I guess it's good enough, right? Dragon Slayer. Uh, it is a long sword, right? Or a bastard. Uh, sorry, it's a bastard sword. It's a bastard sword. It's uh, it's a plus one weapon. However, it becomes a plus four weapon against dragons. Plus four, Crastinorex were coming for you. Um, you want to make that a note? The, the notes. Again. Uh, yeah. Contact the thief will not make that an opener. Now, I, now I got to look up Des Majeure. Um They tell you this is uh, they chucked it in there because it gave them it gave them weird thoughts. Um, this is weird the, this beautiful broadsword possesses a long hilt wrapped in tanned hide of green dragon, hmm? with a pommel made of a huge crystal. Um. Oh, hang on a second. Is this? Hold on, hold on. I might have misspoke. Maybe this is literally like a green dragon slaying sword. So I, maybe I fucked up, and maybe this is the dragon slayer. I don't. Hang on. Um. So I might have. Okay. Or there's two dragon. Or there's two. Or there's two dragon slaying swords. So give me a second. Sorry. I, I literally. I wish I could have prepped this ahead of time, so you didn't have to sit no here worries. wondering. All right. It's, again, it's we know stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah. No. Sorry. Um. No. You're right. There is not three. It is. This is all one sword. Sorry. So dragon slayer is Desmajor. That's what it says here. So uh, one um, one set is the chainmail plus one and the legendary blade Des Majeure, an intelligent sword plus two comma dragon slayer. I saw a comma, so I assumed that there was a, this was different, but no, this Des Majeure is the dragon. So there, are, so there's only two swords here. There's nine lives stealer and Des Majeure. So let me read you Des Okay, so it's a so it's a plus two sword that is plus four against dragons. No, uh, this is different because I thought I, I looked oh, okay. up the AD&D version of Dragon Slayer and what that was. This is completely different. All right. It, oh, OK. So this beautiful broadsword possesses a long hilt wrapped in the tanned hide of a green dragon, with the pommel made of a huge crystal. It is a sword plus two Dragon Slayer focus on green dragons. So with that I have to look up because that's in some Osric shit. It, it's intelligent. It's going to force him to try to kill a green dragon if it ever sees one. Probably. Desmajor, what it does. Desmajor is also an intelligent being. Neutral good in alignment uh, with int 14. Okay. It can speak Arkantian. Uh, it can detect evil and detect gems, which is pretty sick. Um, is an old wise blade, uh, having seen combat in the hands of Arkantian heroes of old. Uh, okay. Uh, I mean, anything else about this you would have to 
read about it. Yeah. Is this going to turn out to be uh, Arden's sword or something? Mm, no, but um, she used a spear, right? She's a spear. Yeah, she right? yeah she used a spear. Uh oh. So the thing here, though, I guess would be yeah. Uh, to wield this thing, there would have to be a test of wills, and if you fail, you have to swear an oath to slay a green dragon. <laughs> so and there's uh, only one green dragon that we know of. <laughs> Richard Barton. Okay. So there were two legendary swords. The Dragon Slayer wasn't actually a sword. No. That was a, fe a feature of Des Majeure. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, is it sorry a sentient about that. sword or is it like a, is it a sapient sword? Will it, will it talk to us? It is intelligent. Yeah. yeah. It is sapient. It's not giving you just vibes. It will talk to you. Okay. If somebody I'm, wants it. And what does what about Nine Lives, Dealer? What's that? Uh, I'm opening Osric. <laughs> okay. But Sorry. also, like, what is what is the king going to take out of this stuff? I, it's, now, it's if I remember, nine, about it. nine so, life stealer, I believe, is like an evil life drinking sword. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right. But uh, let's see here. That sounds like a Caius Calvis sword. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, there it is. And also, there you go. I, right. I know I swore an oath to get Nightwing. I, I don't have to be the wielder of Nightwind. I yeah. just wanted to get it back from the fucking lizards. Somebody Nine else can have it. Some, really some Elric of Melnabor sword. Yeah, here, I found it. Okay. Nine Lives Stealer. This sword is a plus two. Uh, so this would be a... Um, this is a short sword. Long sword? Short sword. Short, short, oh, it's a short, short sword. sword. Okay. This weapon's plus two. On a two-hit roll of a natural 20, the Nine Lives Stealer will draw the life force from its target, slaying it instantly. Uh, this ability cool. can be used nine times before it's lost forever. Oh, cool. The victim is allowed a saving throw versus magic. Um, if it's successful, there's no effect. But that doesn't count as one of the losses of the... Correct. It, it, doesn't, it, doesn't, it does not expend a charge. Solid. They don't know how many charges are left on it. I'm sure so. I could take it to a shrine of Debeleton and pray, and you know, maybe maybe the gods will tell me. It's probably not a good weapon for Debeleton. Because it like will take the soul inside of Debeleton. You know what I mean? Oh. I don't know. How are we gonna handle what the king gets versus what we get? Do like we each get a pick of one item and then the king gets the rest of the magic items? Yeah. Sorry. Okay. So there is. So I'm giving. I'm giving you a cool, today. You're getting a cool five thousand experience from the combat. Gold. You're looking at uh, at least. Okay. Let me do some math here. The uh, ten thousand you said that was in it, the well gems, ten thousand ten thousand plus. Uh, eight hundred eighty five wow. plus. Um, all the money in the hoard that uh, would come out to be like, uh, yeah, I was going to try and help with math. Was that was, I realized that me saying numbers would okay, probably 15, just fuck it up worse. Yeah, so it's like 1550. Yeah. Okay. Um, All right. So let me put that in there. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty good. <laughs> you guys are doing pretty good today. You're eating good today in the neighborhood. Um And I don't know how to distribute we don't I'm not sure yet how to distribute the magic items. Okay. So without the touching the magic items, your XP share today is 2283. Ooh, God, Holy shit. 2,283. What up, level 4? Fuck, 3. Well, right. What a waste of 500 XP that doesn't... Your, your gold share... Yeah, your gold share is going to be contingent on the negotiations with this cannon. 
Do we just want to do that in no. chat tomorrow? I mean, I don't know. How do you how do you want to split this up? It, real talk. I I just want to like, say that there yeah. is the option that we could go to King Wiskenen and give up a good portion of the actual material gold here in exchange for a guaranteed safe passage with the throne. Yeah, well, you mean, could uh, like be uh, like yeah, you my, have this. This is also enough to get started in Gosterwick or anything, too, you know? This is more I don't money think, than... I don't think the throne is worth more than this. No, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. think that's a good deal in our favor. Okay, yeah, I'm thinking I'd... the throne's gonna be worth, like, 10, 20,000 gold, because it's just, like, 300 pounds of solid gold. We've got 10,000 gold right here, right? I, I think it yeah. is, but we have 10,000 gold worth of solid platinum, 10,000 gold in jewelry, a, right. a massive amount of magic items, and a bunch of other stuff. What... I, I assume now Caius like bards get like advantage and stuff in diplomatic negotiations and shit. So I assume we want Caius hiding this up or hiding this up. That's yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. As far as negotiating on our behalf. Uh, oh, the now, spell book. Mm -hmm. What I would, what I would say is, um, we, we want to prioritize as a, as a party, we want to prioritize magic items and spell books over gold. Correct. Yeah, probably. Yeah. My, okay. My... Then, then Caius is going to angle for that with King Wiskegan. Uh, and and Eric, if you want to, like, we can roll. Like, we can just roll dice now and kind of just like talk. Well, so let's look at the the the. So what I posted, I put our names next to the stuff that we definitely want. Um. Well, so we, uh, we yeah. could also negotiate with the mm -hmm. other magic items to give to him but was there no okay. want for the the two magic swords the two legendary yeah. swords or the necklace Contact, what we, Contact would love nine life steal, then. <laughs> what we could do guys if we want what we could do is we could just do a draft with this and just be like the money gets split up 50 50 just flat out money is 50 50 he gets the 10k gold panther we get the 10k of jewelry and then the money the coinage just gets split in half and then we pick a magic item, they pick a magic item, back and forth. Because we have to pick Nightwind first. Because that's the oath. Right? Well, I mean, I think the, the oath's already complete. You reclaimed it, even if you give it up. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. But that would be an easy way to do it. And we can just, like, go down the line with uh, us and just decide which item do we want first. And then the, Eric goes, all right, so, the goblins get this stay, though, like For flavor, we got to take Nightwind as our first pick, man. Like, even yeah, if it's not we the do. best weapon there, because it's like it's the weapon we came here for. Well, and also, Nightwind is one of the best weapons here. It's, it's a plus... It's like a plus one normally, but then against anything... Yeah, yeah anything three. humanoid, it's a plus three, which is nasty as fuck. There's a lot yeah, of that's like it's, everything it's, in this dungeon, pretty much, that's like... Big yeah, answer. beastmen, lizards, goblins, if we ever have to, like, swap sides. The trolls, probably. Everyone but the are you guys okay? Are you guys okay with uh, doing it this way, and then we can just get it done quickly and have it done before the end of the session? Yeah. I'd rather get it done now, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that idea. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm good, so... but, like... And then that way, we have a flat number for our XP, because it's just... Uh, the copper would be 6k copper. That's what 60 gold plus. Well, I think we, we already got already our, XP. we already got XP. No, that was the X. I didn't think that was the XP for every. Oh, we need our money shares. Yeah. Okay, that's what it was. Yeah, we're, what we're figuring out is money shares. Um, Eric is King Wiskagen willing to like, uh, wait the the trade so that we get more magic items and he gets more just money. For yeah, kingdom. I mean, I I would also argue that we did most of the work mm. by doing by doing this. We <laughs> opened up this path to get them more territory. I mean, the territorial probably... gains are a big take, right? Yeah, it, well, well, yeah, and that's that's kind of the thing is he gets all the territorial gains. He gets, but he I, also I, lost know, probably gets... dozens of goblins. Yeah. Yeah. He ate a lot and, of losses. And, he did not. Yeah, he no. lost. He, no, be, he yeah. lost like a quarter of one army. Like, 
and we decimated the the lizard men. Yeah, he 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 took he took like fifteen percent casualties in this battle. Uh, I think Very nice. Nice. one thing, yeah. But like, uh, you you might have just given Killick his own fiefdom is what you might have done. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Um, which would be good. He ain't going back like, to the fucking uh, the little watch one. Uh, Robin tolls at the at the stairs. He's gonna be running stuff mm -hmm. down here. Yeah, but like that's the thing is like we give him all the territorial gains. We give him the vast majority of the money, um, and we get, I'd say, most of right. the magic. Out of I'm trying to think of Here's what, a... what magic items are we willing to like. Just I think just up. doing it fifty fifty is just the easiest way to do it. I don't want to. Sit here and spend an hour oh. trying to figure yeah. out. Like maybe exactly. maybe Eric has an idea what King King, King Whiskin would want. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. uh, he definitely does not care so much about Nightwind. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, frankly, there he didn't have any war goals in the first place because this is all just freaking gravy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Exactly. <laughs> like, yeah. that's why it, like we came so, here like with um, something we wanted. Like, but no. So here's. Here's the truth of actually how this would work, okay? Um, if you want to get favor with King Wiskinen, you give him everything, and he gifts you what he thinks is fair. Like any ruler. Now, he promised... Now, how much do you trust him, you know? And would you keep anything... Would you omit anything of the treasure not to give to him to gift back? That's the interesting way to do this. Right. I I mean, we we'd, we'd have to insist no. on keeping Nightwind. We'd have to insist on keeping I think, Nightwind. I think what Caius would try to frame it as is, uh, Caius would would essentially try and frame it as less of, oh, here, this is all yours. What are you going to gift us? And Caius would try and frame it as a foreign like a you know a, a foreign outsider paying yeah. tribute to king Wiskegan. yeah yeah more but, so than it being something that the sure. king got do himself you, is it more important for you to hold the money or do you want more items I, I, yeah. right we, we want the stuff no we, we don't care about stuff. the money okay sure if you forego okay. if if you forego all of the money and maybe a couple picks of the treasure there it's all yours He'll take the tears because that sounds awesome. Uh, and then he's probably going to take, um, he's going to take nine live stealer for sure, personal for personal use. The rest is yours. I mean, I mean. Oh, and and the and the the the, plat, the panther, of course. We already we already said that. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. I mean, is that okay? I would like some treasure out of this because I have. Some yeah, gold. I need money. Ah, I okay. need money. I don't have money on my character, so I need to But we will see if there's an, there's an then, there's a, there's spell books. What about the spell books? Yeah. The, there's I one mean, we spell also book. want the money if we have the spell books, because right. it's like... They're shamans, so they don't have spell books. There is one that does have a spell book, because that is the weirdo uh, human guy with this group that I didn't even really talk that much about. Uh, mm -hmm. Skreel, uh, your old Skreel friend. Um, Alright, let me... Let me do this. There, so there's one spell book. I'll just literally just paste it here. So it's because it's too big to copy and paste. So it's pretty nice. I mean, <laughs> Ollie, nice Ollie would. Okay, fine. Would want Everyone can leave with that. 500 gold. Everyone can leave with 500 gold if you want. That would be so because we're at the end of time and that seems like a pretty. Yeah. Fair assessment, okay? Cool. Yeah, I just thought the split 50-50 thing was a good idea, but okay. Well, you're... No, he would have taken more treasure uh, than that. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, goblins, they're not... All right, to be a leader, they're not very generous. You know what I mean? But they also... They yeah. do just enough that you're, they're not... Ma they don't make you mad, right? Mm. But, uh, okay, so... There you go. Right, so he's taken the nine life yeah. stealer, the tears, and all the gold yeah. apart from five hundred gold pieces each, mm -hmm. and the platinum panther yeah. statue. But we get the spell book. 
you'll get oh, the the magic we items. Get all, all the other magic items. Yeah. Listen, I'm, I'm happy to split this spell book in some capacity with with um he says yeah, uh, oh, just because uh, it's one item doesn't we mean can, yeah. I have yeah, to. Yeah, we can all. message each other about that and figure yeah. it out that we'll way. We'll have to and get back into a session together, but. Well, we can do sorry. some of this, like. To be clear, here. there's one. Yeah, sorry. Uh, continual light doesn't exist. All right. But uh, so yeah, neither does read magic. Okay. But um, we can split it up later. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. What the fuck? That, right? Sorry. <laughs> I'm, oh, no, no, obviously, like, I'm... I, that on yeah. run. You don't need everyone yeah. else to... I know, I know you gotta it. go. I know time, time's a concern for you, so yeah, for sure. So yeah, sorry, like, sorry I wasn't more prepared for that, but uh, yeah. No so, way, man. There's like, absolutely no way you can prepare <laughs> for that sort of thing. It's a great okay. session, man. Yeah, All right. Brilliant. All right, Crazy. so... Yeah. Yeah, uh, so we need to figure out who gets what item, so we had some of them marked off. Which yeah. ones were not claimed? Uh, right. All plus, the other plus two dagger. Though. Yeah. Can we like, do this? I would like to say plus two dagger. But right. we'll, we'll, yeah. yeah. I think we'll, do, are you happy for us to to do? Let's do this in Discord. One, of, yeah. Post yeah. yeah, we'll do it in Discord, and then that's it. Yeah. 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 So we can, yeah, we can all figure out that kind of stuff. Um, make sure the Micah gets something. Yeah. Micah's getting five hundred yeah. gold for sure as well for downtiming this. But then, yeah, he'll get. A we can force after. him to make an oath against a uh, dragon. That would, honestly he would he would love that uh but yeah okay cool so let's like, let's wrap there like i have a sword. <laughs>